milliwatts per meter squared. All right, there you go. Right there, 450 milliwatts meter squared. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to the show. Today we have a treat. We have Woo! right there the iPhone 13 Pro. Yes. Are you guys excited I'm to so be excited. tuning in to a live te teardown? We're gonna have a full on maximum testing this baby out, testing that egg. What are we testing out? We're gonna test the camera quality because that is what I'm literally, the only reason why I bought this is because I wanna check out the camera quality. That is my number one priority. Cinematic mode. Yes. Can we actually do cinematography in the show? What is the most exciting feature you're waiting for this iPhone 13? My feature is um, getting a new brand, a new new longevity, new life to Apple Care because your Apple Care has run out. Yeah, it has. You only had a two-year deal. I'm it sad. Just goes by so my quickly. heart, my, I'm listening don't, to my heart back. My don't, heart. Don't be I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Oh, it's heart going down. Broken. It's got no, my Apple Care's no, gone. No, it's gone. I've got your new one. Don't worry. Did you know that you can actually extend your Apple Care if it expires? If it's expired within 30 days, you can apparently extend it. And in Australia now. Well, I haven't tested out if you can okay. extend it, so I got your new one if you like it. If you don't like it, then yes. we'll extend our old one. Your 11 one. Pro, you still yeah, liking that one? I do, I like it. You still liking that the one? The only issue I have with it, though, is my okay. battery life. Battery that life. is my it's issue. Gone. And the battery's gone. I checked the settings. So you guys might be thinking, yo, Ash, there's a little settings saying something like if your battery is healthy, and the battery is actually 100% healthy, according to Apple, in the settings wow. feature. Yeah. So according to Apple, your abysmal battery life on your iPhone 11 Pro Shocking. is... Uh, is 100% good, so which is good because if you want to sell it, you can tell yep. everyone that it's 100% good. Even though, you, well, what's wrong with the battery? Well, it just drains. Like I literally, so in the old days when I first got my iPhone, I would keep it running for like 24 hours, maybe a little bit longer. And now, as I've noticed over the past few months, it just steadily is declining. Like I'm mean, gonna have to charge it up in the middle of the daytime just to do what I used to do before. So the amount of charge it has just doesn't hold itself as well as it did when I first got it, which is not an uncommon thing for Apple because I've noticed so many times before. So the thing is. I think the only test we can't do on this show is the battery test because the batteries always work really well day one, week yeah. one, and then how long, how long does it take before it starts dying out? Couple of ups? You know what it is, Ash? I think it's as soon as they release a new one. So oh, it's oh, getting close okay, to three months before the new one. Then it, yeah, then I so know. So you conspiracy, it. conspiracy is happening over here. You, you think <laughs> Apple is deliberately think, iOS think, updating to slow I so. the, yeah? I think so. I don't think so, I just think. Just they like optimize just... the experience of the battery because the battery has a limited amount of cells. Okay. So they just optimize it. And although there is a conspiracy because you can't replace your battery itself. You need to go into the store, yeah, that's but you true. can pay for it. It's true. So at least it's replaceable, not user replaceable. I don't mind. I'm not sure about this whole battery situation, but it looks like there is questions being asked there on the is. show already. Ash, we haven't even what? opened up. We, we want to open even. this up. I want to open this up because my battery is about to die. <laughs> Like we got, I'm got full on, let, me, let me just show you the oh studio. We got we got a camera up there. Yeah. I should have disabled the HDMI situation, but I've got a target box just to show you. Boom. Some sort of situation. You can see some stuff happening here as well as the major stuff <laughs> happening right over there. So we got cameras city. We are I famous am. for our batteries always being exhausting. They're always exhausting. So I'm hoping to get this one done swiftly. And uh, you said there was a chat comment already well, on the Ash, show. There is just so much already piling in. These guys are super excited, as are we, because it's been a while since we've done Head to Tech Live. So we're excited to be on board with you guys. Let us know where you are in the world. We have got a few people going on. We've got um, Maxine who's saying, I'm glad to see some quality content on YouTube. Yes, we are so happy to bring you some awesome stuff. Not only are we going to be doing like camera tests, guys, we're going to be doing RF testing. We're going to be doing video testing. We're going to be doing the whole shebang. That is right. Um, please test HDR footage on the new iPhone, especially when moving the camera up and down left and right child pro had some frame some issues with frame dropping and flickering that is shocking i think we're definitely doing that we've got a special treat for you guys it is sunny right now in australia so we might even be able to get some outdoor footage and show you guys what australia I, looks i'm like. actually going to be showing you cinematic mode we're going to yeah. do a little movie we together are. us us oh together gosh. in the we're show doing it. don't know how long it's going to take it's going to be quick i've got cameras set up everywhere, everywhere to show you guys but 
Someone said something about tests. Yes. What, what tests are they HDR after? HDR tests. HDR tests. Mm -hmm. Okay. Going up and down, left and right. Because previously right. the 12 Pro had some flickering issues and dropping frames. That go. is shocking. Yeah. That's shocking. I'm shocked. Shocked with that. I'm not really shocked, but yeah. It's I am <laughs> shocked. I'd be so annoyed if are I had a phone. People really just... buying an iPhone to make movies with it. Like well, I see the adverts. Are they yeah. really doing that? I'm like, not going to get into what okay, other tests they want. Okay, Shamsaluza, Sham, Shamsalazaha is Sam back. Zilla. Woo! Well, hello, back. And he's saying uh, pre-registering for the iPhone 13 Pro. We giveaway. do actually have a competition happening do on we? this channel. We do. By the end of the year, if we get to 50,000 subs, yep. we're giving away some mice. Anywhere mice. Mice, I think. Oh, some. We need to watch our video to say what we're going to give away, and we're going to give away what we said we're going to give away. If we get to 100k. We're giving away something else, and if we get to 200k, we're not going to get there, so yeah. don't need to worry about it. But the idea was, if we get to around 500k, we're going to give away an Alienware yes. R12. Oh. So if somehow people subscribe, we're going to have to give away our mining rigs. I don't want to give them away. Oh. <laughs> I'm hoping no subscribers. That sounds scary. That sounds scary. I'm going to like like not being you know off the radar, not doing no, much on YouTube. So much How are you guys doing? Like, tell us what, what's been going on. Are you, are you still locking down where you guys are over in the world? Are you out and about? Are you shaking? Are you protesting? Are you rioting? Are you staying at home? Are you policing each other? Are you writing each other out? Are you... What are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah, what's what going on in the world? I'd love yeah. to know. Because yeah. right now in Australia, so... There, so Australia, Australia wait, wait, drum roll. Dun, 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 dun. We're going all over the place with this we channel. Bit, I kind of want to talk about the... About the no, not RF. Because I wanted to show something, okay? I really want to show you guys how dedicated I am to testing this. And this is going to be a world exclusive yeah. iPhone 13 oh test. My gosh. Only on this channel. You no. you you guys thought I was going to stop at radio fre frequency, yeah? Yes, you I guys did. thought I, did. I didn't understand about pollutants. Oh See, I understand gosh. about pollutants and I have oh how today we're going to be testing out cuz she does it all the time. I haven't unboxed it yet cuz she does it all the time. Whenever she unboxes an Apple device, <laughs> she sniffs <laughs> She sniffs it. She sniffs it. And my brain is oh my like, God. it comes out of the factory, it's probably full of formaldehyde. Oh my God. It's probably right. full of toxins. You're right, you probably actually. shouldn't be smelling it. You probably shouldn't. You know, when you get new stuff, it takes about a year for the formaldehyde and all that stuff the to box. dissipate. The volatile organic. So I have, oh my with goodness. me, I spent money on this, guys. Oh my goodness. I got a box, and inside this box, it's an air quality monitor. Whoa. And this was oh an expensive goodness. one. So I'm, obviously, it's not super expensive. We're not, we're not at that kind of stage on this channel, but it's, a, it's an expensive, cheap one. That's and this will tell you formaldehyde levels, so air quality levels, toxic levels, oh pollution, goodness. pollutant levels. So does that mean I have to forego sniffing my box? Today? No, well, I'm gonna get the device light right here. Yeah. I'm gonna test the air right here, and then I'm gonna open the box and oh, test the device and let you know how much formaldehyde is in the box oh and if goodness. it's a safe level, my friends, or if it doesn't move the needle, you can sniff away. Enjoy your life. <laughs> On this channel, we have a live sniff test. So air quality, yeah, yeah. Do you know what, Ash? That is really interesting because these are manufactured in a certain country, and so you sort of wonder what is inside the you know, factories. Although I would imagine, like my brain is thinking, those factories should be mega sterile because there's so many small little chips in there. It shouldn't be like they should be shouldn't be putting in bugs and stuff like that. This video so is also think. sponsored by Ronaldo's favorite drink. Make sure don't drink this stuff. It's bad for, bad you. for you. I'm just drinking it so because I, I need to do, wake up. Maybe, maybe we should do like an air quality <laughs> test around that. Oh man. That's going to be like off the chart. Crazy. Everyone's got a vice. That's, That's my gonna vice. That's going to be crazy. That's going to be crazy. Why do I switch between the Pepsi and the Coca Cola and I have a bit of Bundaberg on the side just to like, and I got a bit of like all this kind of like stuff just to control my vices. Growing up, I was a bad, bad child. I got bad hooked child. on um, the, the C word, Coca Cola. What? I used to drink liters every single day and just stay up all night playing Championship Manager, oh Civilization, goodness. all the good games. I like oh. Civilization, that was a fun I game. I just would non-stop, I was a proper nerd, I was this big. The amount of cola I used to drink, yeah? Oh when goodness. I switched from Coca-Cola to Diet Cola, I lost 10 kilograms. That's how much cola I used to drink. Maybe that's why I'm a bit wired. Maybe that's why. Because people always say, you know, Ash, have you been sniffing some stuff? And I say, no, natural. I did fall off the bunk at school, when I was a kid as well and I banged my head. So maybe that's why I'm a bit wired up. I don't know, I can't explain it. If there's a doctor in this room, maybe you can explain it. Obviously, she's not we a doctor advocate, today. We okay. do not advocate um, excesses amounts so of you, Coca-Cola. Are you guys excited about unboxing? Should yes, we just go ahead and unbox it? Ventus Lopoff is saying, it's showtime! It's showtime. We've got George Ramirez says, a first the radiation test, lol. And we've got Rara Bon, he's back, he's from Switzerland. He says, just a quick hello from Switzerland, guys. Unfortunately, can't watch it live, but he will definitely watch it later. Cheers. Of course, and Tech for Your Needs says, hello, folks. And I want to know, since we are talking about this stuff, yes. 
what is the tech that I need, tech for need? Yeah. Because you can't just drop a bombshell like that yeah. and say, you know, hey, tech for, tech for needs and not actually telling me what I need, That's just true. saying hello. Because what do I need? What do you is need? it aircon that you talk about? Yeah. Is, is it, solar? it solar that you talk about? Mm -hmm. Is it water filters that yeah. you talk about? What is it kitchen it? sinks that you're we talking about? Is it caveman tech? Mm -hmm. What kind of technology are you talking about? Is it vacuum cleaners? Oh, yeah. Or is it just smartphone? Have you limited the world of technology to smart so smartphones? Yes. Spaceships. Take for your needs. There's need stuff out there. Like, have you ever tried to clean your gutter? Isn't that technology? Do you know what, Ash? When you think of it like that, like everything is Pressure. technological. Pressure. Yeah. Everything is technological. Yeah. There's technology. nothing that's not technological. Yeah, human technology. This is such a great unboxing. <laughs> <laughs> Just dragging it out, I don't know why. So, should we do it? It's your phone, so, are you excited Ash, about it? I am excited. It was a bit of a journey getting this phone, I have to tell you. It was actually quite interesting. Ash and I went on an hour hike oh, to pick up this phone. Yeah. We took one hour's walking. We were dedicated to the challenge. There was a time when there were no buses, there was no public transport, the cars weren't working. But Ash and I, we put our backpacks on, we said, let's do it. We're going to go for a hiking walk all the way down to the Apple shop and pick up this bad boy because we knew the, the queues were going to be horrendous. We knew that we were going to have to fight yeah, our way that's inside. That's why this video is late because we, we were so queuing late. up all day. And it took us another hour to walk back home. Getting ready to pick up my iPhone. The queues are super long over here. I've got to go in, battle with my elbows out. Time to get the iPhone at 13. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> this queue at this Apple store was absolutely huge. I had to battle through, get it, but alas, I have got my iPhone 13. Let's go. Mmm, this apple is tasty. So yeah, the queues yeah. were massive. It was, huge. it was, the, the thing is, we used our little noggins up there, yeah? And we was like, we can go to Apple and mm. potentially queue up and be treated like lemons and be like, I don't know what they do when you try entering the store. Actually, last experience was all right. It was, wasn't that bad because you didn't have to enter the store. If you yeah. have to go in the store, they're kind of like, I don't know what they do to you. But you need to go through like, it's kind of like going to an airport scanner. scanner. to make sure that you're, yes. <laughs> you're, you're Apple compliant. <laughs> well, last time it was kind of good because I just said I'm picking up the phone and going. Yeah. So they were very, very, very friendly. Very friendly. But the idea is you can queue up or you can have it delivered to your local shop and you can pick it up the same day. As the release, it's not oh, like you get yeah. a day early from going to Apple. Yeah. So we just picked it up from a news agent. We did. It and, was so cool. And, and we, we got came. a text in the morning, 9.30 a.m. So we were like, okay, let's sleep in some more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is too early. So I think, I think the idea of just getting it delivered, and if you want, like if you are a genius, mm. yeah, think about this, yeah? Do they deliver it in the morning or do they deliver it the day before? News agent Ooh. people, people that get deliveries, let us know if... Mm. The delivery comes early, so it's ensured to be there in the morning, or if it comes on the day. And secondly, delivery people, let us know, you must have the delivery in your hand a day or so early. So if you're really smart and you want to break some news, you want to be like the verge level of people, go get a job as a delivery person, go to the factory, take your phone, make it delivered to yourself so you're not stealing, but take your phone a day early. Clever. Yeah, Clever. yeah, you might get Ash. sacked, Clever. but you'll be breaking the world, world exclusive. World there you exclusive. go. I mean, world exclusive right here. Yeah, I've got nothing to do with my life. I might do that. Next video, we're going to exclusively get it a day early. <laughs> Next time, you're going to find this new delivery boy. So, basically. should we just unbox I it? I think so. Everyone's right. excited. Everyone's pumped up. Everyone's saying hello from Italy. Good yeah, morning. I saw, I saw some Arabic on there. there. So, just saying hello, doctor. Hello, everyone. Italy. We've got, we've got so much going on. I like on right Italy. Here. I've been, I was married in Italy. You were married in Italy. Yeah, was you married in Italy? I was married in Italy. I was there with you. What a coincidence. <laughs> what? Yeah, where about to Italy are you from? Yes. Yeah, because Italy is a big place. Are you in a good Italy. place or a bad place? I saw there was a town in Italy. It's actually paying people to move there because oh all the gosh. residents are dying out because they're too old. Yeah. So there's lots of land. They need employees. They need Beautiful something place. to do. Beautiful place. Ash, I think we should do it's it. It's you. It's all I on you. It. It's all on Wait, you. Uh, when I open this box, are you going to be doing the smell test with me? Oh, you want to see the smell test? Well, naturally, the first thing we're going to do is... Okay, we're doing our first test on this okay, channel. So first test. for that, I'm going to have to get the smell of meter, the air quality Go index meter, formaldehyde oh meter. Oh my goodness. I'm going to be so shocked. And while, That's going to be more breaking, Ash, than an iPhone Pro. Why I get that? Wow. Why don't you explain to our viewers what the health risks of pollutants and formaldehyde is? Okay. So everybody out there, there is always a background pollution in the air, and that is completely fine. Obviously, it's cleaner in some areas and worse in some areas as well. Definitely, this is not so good for your body. 
pollution arises from a whole bunch of stuff, whether it's from car exhaustion fumes, from you know people who are sand dust soaring in the middle of the road, producing lots and lots of pollutants in the air that we breathe in. Obviously, if you're in an outdoor area, it's going to be a lot easier and there's less of it, less concentration going into your lungs. I guess what we're concerned about today is formaldehyde and all those nasty things that can be in a confined space where when you breathe them in, they might cause a little bit of upset to yourself. So sometimes formaldehyde can make you feel a bit sick and also if you have too much of it too for too long of a period of time, you can also can be teratogenic, which means that it can cause abnormalities to any women who might be pregnant, etc. So we used to use formaldehyde in the back, in, back in the old days, but we realized that it wasn't very good. So now we are more health conscious and we are reducing that. So to bring us back to the point of this whole test we're doing right now is we're checking out to make sure that this package right here does not have some nasty, nasty stuff inside it. Make sure that you guys are nice and safe as well. Yeah, because Apple love wearing masks. Now, are they wearing a mask to protect themselves from their own products? Oh. Think about it, you work in the Apple store, Whoa. why are you forced to wear a mask? Maybe so much formaldehyde is around the iPhone that they need to protect themselves. It's but you know, I, don't, I, don't, I don't imagine this would have too much formaldehyde because formaldehyde we tend to see in like um, new furniture. So formaldehyde is used in a lot of glues as resin. So when you have like a furniture, like for example, a bed, for example, or a kitchen cabinet that is made up of MDF, say, they need to use something to stick that MDF together. And generally speaking, the resin inside is formaldehyde. So I don't imagine there'll be a lot of formaldehyde in here because I guess there are resins, but it wouldn't be to such a big degree. And it's such a small product anyway. So hopefully the amount should be less. And speaking of furniture, they do have ratings for formaldehyde ratings. So you've got E0 all the way through to E4, I think. I might be wrong on that one, but the lower the number, the less formaldehyde there is being released. So Ash, what have you got right there? Well, I'm going to ask you to just talk for another 30 seconds while I add this product to the description. Oh my goodness. So if you refresh good this page, idea. you actually see this product. But wait for the full review because I don't know if it's any good yet. Okay, perfect. Yeah, but I'll leave it there just in case anyone wants to use yes. one of our affiliate links. Yes. When you buy it using the affiliate links, Somehow, some money comes to us. How? The price cool. doesn't change for you, but somehow we get like 50 cents. <laughs> so five of you people cents. out there will be making $2.50. Yeah. Yay. Potentially, Amazon is a bit random. Sometimes they, they give you like 50 cents. Sometimes they give you nothing. Sometimes they give you five cents yeah. per purchase. Yeah. Say, so, you know. It's something, something, yeah. something. But you know, the good thing about this it's a hobby. actual... <laughs> The great thing about this is not only do you test it for this sort of stuff, for electronic goods, but you can also test it in your room spaces as well. So I recently found out that, well, not so recently, but I found out that basically it takes one year for a piece of furniture that arrives in your house for all of the volatile organic compounds to be released into the air. Now, these are things that you can't actually tell. You can't smell them. They're just chemicals that are released in the air after you've had a new piece of furniture set into your house. And it takes one year for that all of those vox to travel away. So this will be super interesting to find out. For example, if you've got a new bed or if you've got a new cabinet or a new cupboard, um, obviously if you're getting a product that is like a super high quality that might be made of wood or pine, that's pure pine or pure timber, that will have less of the vox. But nowadays, let's face it, that is super expensive and more people go for the cheaper um, things like MDF and so on. So if you imagine you've got a new bed and you're just checking out how much pollution there is around your bed, that is somewhere you spent like at least seven to eight hours sleeping every day and you've just got that new bed implanted into your lovely bedroom and you've got some new carpets. We all know that carpets also release box whenever they're newly installed as well. So you're surrounding yourself in about eight hours worth of all these box going up into your breathing system and that can cause asthma, it can cause lung problems, it can cause all of these plethora of different symptoms that you may not have ever have thought of. But that's why I'm particularly excited about this because we have recently bought a new bed and we recently have bought some new cabinets as well. So to find out how they are from day dot all the way through to say next year, that would be a really good science experiment. Now you must be thinking, oh my gosh, it's all doom and gloom. How on earth do I prevent this? Or how on earth do I reduce the vox in my bedroom? Open your windows. It is so simple just to get some ventilation on, Keep those windows open and those boxes will just dissipate and they'll go elsewhere rather than into your lungs. And that some, is my health tip. Something else I need to say is we also got a brand new air conditioning unit here. And it was hasn't been working since they installed it. I mean, it works, but it like uses up so much electricity so, so, yeah. and it doesn't like warm up enough. Like, and it's the top dog system. And I've been wanting to re review it for a long time now because it's like the most impressive yeah. air conditioning yeah. system you can get. Yes. The problem is, yeah, yeah it's not working it's well. Not working. So I don't want to be dishonest with you guys. So I've been trying to get them to fix it, like engineering, designing the best optimal locations to put all the ducts and make sure that it, the air flows well. And I've been telling them from the start, are you sure that it has enough gas in the system? Or is there a leak? 
have you tested it? Like, have you installed it properly? And they're like been saying, no, nah, it's completely fine. There's no leaks and all that Brand stuff. New. How could it be leaking? And then lucky for me, I managed to investigate the controller, go into the hidden menus of the system, went inside to the system information. It was showing an error code saying that the actual controller is dodgy. And only now, maybe six months later, yeah. they replaced the controller. So when they booted up the system this time round, with a, with a correct controller, and this is a brand new system from the top quality, Daikin, number one AC one people in the world, it stopped booting up and it said, look, low pressure, so there's a gas leak. Mm. So my friends, for the last six months, we've been sniffing gas. Yeah. I don't know how poisonous it's been to our systems. Yeah. So that's, that's a bit scary. unfortunate. It's scary. So I'm going to share all the details on how I detected all this nonsense at the end. Hopefully it's good. Hopefully it's just um, a fire risk. externally, it's, yeah. it's not in our lungs. But yeah, you know, something like this would have been really interesting. The actually. dude went around with like a spray bottle to make sure that the whole um, copper pipe wasn't leaking. And he said he can't find the leak. So maybe hopefully the leak has been outside. Mm. But yeah, if you got some sort of detection, it's, it's just be it safe. That's if you're that way inclined. Yeah. Like, you know, some people will drink Love Coca-Cola gas. every day yeah, and, and they don't care. But you don't want Coca-Cola and gas. <laughs> you have one or the limit, other. Guys. Limit your body's <laughs> like liver. Like, you need, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, me, this is a temp top and this is the 1000S and it's got like all these monitors inside. I'm going to have a proper review of this soon. But I'm going to turn it on right now. Look at that. Oh, oh so let's turn it on. Let's turn it on. Let's see, show you what is happening in the world. And I'm even going to do, look, look at that right there. Oh, is this wrong way around? Okay, something is on the screen right there. That is, some stuff is happening right there. Love and it's it. telling me how much PM10, oh. how much little pollen particles, PM10 and PM2.5 is the different size of the particles. Got it. Yeah. Got it, got yeah. it, got, so it got it. So it, tells you, it doesn't actually tell you whether it's formaldehyde. No, it does. Else oh, it. look at that. Oh it's got goodness. some buttons on the screen. Oh my and it won't focus because my hand isn't on it. Sony. Thanks, Sony. <laughs> Thanks, Sony. With your $5,000 cameras. Thank you. You haven't figured out that some people like sticking stuff in us here. Great, great, great. <laughs> you flashing Not stuff. That one. Okay, I'm gonna go. So right now, the air room, we got 5.7 and PM2.5. That's like, I got hay fever. So that's gonna give me some hay fever. So if what's the normal levels? Okay, we don't know normal levels. No, it says it's good. It says it's good. It says it's good. That's nice. 5.9, it says it's good. That's good. PM10, we got 8.8. .8. It says it's good. Number of particles per liter. 892 wow. floating around it. if you thought you're that's Dyson crazy. Oh that's giving gosh. you all your little sensors or your carpet yeah yeah now if you've got carpets and curtains it'd probably be higher but this is our base level I reading reckon, Ash I've got the best idea this is a Hesitech channel right yeah we should okay I've got carpeted rooms right yeah I'm gonna do a before and after I'm gonna Vacuuming. do this before yeah. yeah the Dyson the Dyson you tuned in for an iPhone 13 Pro more. you're gonna get more yeah guys. hit that subscribe you're button because you this don't know like... what you're tuning into this, is, this isn't just, just like Text for everything, your need. Everything. This is the heads of tech. Heads of tech. We take this we seriously. Everything. We got everything. heads. We got two heads. Okay. Anyway, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a before and after. After my. Do we have a little notepad? Phone. You got an I've iPad. I've got a phone. Okay, I've so got got, phone. they got iPhone got 11 Pro review right Let's here. Let's see. I'm going to so see how I want you to this one is. Write these figures down, do and we're going to be testing it as soon as we open the box. Okay. To let you guys know if you can sniff the box when you open it, do you need to be wearing? A normal surgical mask or a P2, P2 mask, maybe. N95 P2. mask. P2. Yeah. All right, let's do this. Up. So we've got PW2 is... PM2. PM2.5. PM2 is 5.8. Is 5.8. And PM10, they're bigger. PM10. Is 8.6. 8.6. And number of particles per litre is 834. All right, that's one. And it also has an air quality index. Okay. Yeah. And that air quality index is 22, which means it's good. Okay. With a 44% humidity. Oh, okay. I love, I love this meter. This is really good. No, it's good stuff. Oh my goodness. The question is how accurate is it? That's, you know, we're wow. going to have to test it out properly. And I then really like finally, it. you want to see formaldehyde. Oh my god. The H, oh, sorry, the H, C, H, zero. Formaldehyde, we've got 0 0.04 milligrams per meter cubed. And I think that's cubed. actually okay. 0. It says it's healthy. It's got, yeah, it's I got a little, it's okay. got like, a, oh, wait, I'm showing the wrong camera. It's got a little green, you can't, you know, just give up on this. It's got something on the screen. You won't be able to see it because I don't know how to focus. Can I zoom in like that? Forget about it. That's pretty good, Ash. For that has 0 0.02 milligrams per meter cubed. Yeah. It does say you need to um, leave it outside for six hours 
for more readings. So when we do our full review, we're going to leave yeah. it outside for like 25 hours oh my God, in I'm the in air. This. I'm so in the pollen. To just, yeah. I'm just going to be going around the house and okay. just check Subscribe in. for that. Oh my gosh. Yeah, check out our Heads of Estate channel. I'm super excited. We're probably going to do proper stuff like that. I'm so super excited. we got some base level readings of formaldehyde okay. 0.03, okay? Yeah. Okay. Got it. Okay, I'm excited about this. I'm oh holding gosh. the, the meter's oh right there. God. Air is flowing. We're ready to unbox the box. Come right now. I'm so pumped, guys. If you just tuned in, this is an iPhone 13 Pro live unboxing. But we're gonna go one extra mile with you guys. We're gonna be checking out how many volatile organic compounds are within this box right here. Those come in all the internationally. We've got a dedicated, special, dedicated uh, air quality meter. We've done our baseline readings. We're now about to open up this box and see whether you should be sniffing this or not, because you, who knows me, guys? You all know me other. <laughs> I love sniffing boxes. Ash, that, I can see you smiling. Is that Come really on. the test we're doing? <laughs> we're doing I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Okay, I'm doing it. You ready? I'm doing it. God, I don't care. I'm just going to do it. Oh, 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 that's nice. I like it. Oh, she's excited about this one. You ready? It's still 0.02. This is like a drum roll kind of like moment. No, oh, who's excited? Oh, go on, do it. Do it. Oh, oh, the back of the box. Oh. There you go. We got it in gold. All right, well, there's not much coming out of it this box. It hasn't opened yet, hasn't opened yet. Okay, so this box, this box is okay. Is it? Well, there's nothing coming out okay, of it. Okay, let's see, okay. Still 0.02. This is where I sniff. Okay. Are you ready, Ash? Oh my God, looks, wait, wait, can we just, can we just have a look at the let's, box for a minute? Yeah, let's appreciate the box. Can we just appreciate, appreciate the box? Appreciate the box. Appreciate oh, the box. Oh, love the box. It's not often that you buy that an box. iPhone, a oh, brand new that iPhone. Box. Do you know, I miss the days when it was a white box. Oh, it's now gone black. And something black. you should know is, look at the size of that box. Wow, it's so small. They've somehow managed to pack the charger the wires, the headphones, and the phone in this tiny box. Look how small it is. It's small. Yeah. It does look tiny. There's actually a slip at the back. You have to peel it off. Mm, that's Rude. interesting. Okay, so you got hide the serial number here. Because I know you guys are a bunch of hackers out there. So that is You're trying to get our serial numbers, isn't it? So what do I know you. <laughs> this slip is for something. You just have to open it up. Shall I do it? No, you got to open it up the rest this way. Oh, the what's one the slip for? We're going to find out. Oh my God, there's so much. Don't do it. Okay, can I just ask people out there, hands, hands up right hands now. Up. Who misses the white box of the iPhone? Do you think this looks more suave and sophisticated or do you miss the original white box I'm talking about from like five, six years ago? I want to know. People let me know. Massage thinks, Massage thinks, says he thinks it looks like a book. It does look like a book. Small I think book. it looks silly. Like, I, I wasn't impressed. Like, I'm a bit bored of this whole, like, triple camera circle situation. Oh, man. I think I'm too old for this. Maybe if I was a bit younger, I'd be like, wow. It's not do people still even like iPhones? Yes, I do. No, it was popular 10 years ago, but nowadays, yeah, like, no, people used to queue up and camp out. They did. And people they used did, to believe the did. social media You're stuff. Right. You know, they back did. in the day, influencers, they didn't know the influence, influence in were the influencers were influencers. <laughs> like, they thought these people were real people that loved the products. But now, of course, we know they're just getting paid for it. Yeah, it's sad, isn't it? Yeah. It's so sad. Yeah. It's like we paid without good money for this. I wish someone gave it to me for free. Yeah, but if you're sponsored, man, I'd be camping. I'd be like, yeah, I love you guys. Yeah, it's true. So are you excited about this phone? I am. But it doesn't look too dissimilar. So I've already had a, um, a gold iPhone 11 in the past. You'll note that I didn't actually get the 12. I did get it. Remember we did that video? Oh, and you didn't I like it, did you? It. Yeah. So, the camera um, video wasn't that good. It was not good. But it doesn't look too dissimilar anyway from the previous one. Mm. Take a look at that. The camera looks huge in this. Maybe, I'll, well, zoom, yeah, yeah. I'll zoom in for you. I'll zoom. There you go. I mean, it does. Obviously, this is just a rep. I mean, it's actually bigger. I wonder. I know it's inside the actual box itself. Pro Max, isn't it? But that is um, oh. cool. Okay, should I do it, Ash? I think you should. But um, I've got my air quality. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to smell it. Like, guys, I'm going to. No, you're not going to smell it. I'm, you're going to wait. Gonna I'm going to okay? wait. Okay? This is serious. Okay. Okay. Let's get that camera on then and okay. then show these guys. Drum roll, the guys. Okay, guys. So, seriously, you would. We're, we're really scared about this. I'm scared. Put on your P2 it mask. It doesn't open. Does I think you have to actually pull that thing on the back. That's new. That is new. Or maybe that pulley thing helps. Okay, we're going to turn so it I'm around. I'm just going to have to do this now okay. and open it up. I like that swipe. That's fine. Okay, it's you open ready? now. You can't return it. I know. You, yeah, you can. Okay. <laughs> oh, that was easy. Oh, that's fun. I didn't think you have to do that. I think you do. But it's, it's a shame you tore it now and it's not exactly a straight cut. Yeah, I know. I'm a bit upset it's with disgusting. that. Yeah. Sorry about that, guys. Mm. Okay, but it does open. I didn't buy the iPhone 13 to do DIY. No. <laughs> you don't spend two grand on a phone to do DIY. That's true. Do you know, it's so slim. Can I, can I open it now, go guys? Are you ready? Are you ready for the air yeah, quality? Yeah, go for it. Ba -ba 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 I wish I mask, Ash. I've got my hand mask. Blah, blah, okay, blah, okay, blah, okay, it's happening, it's happening. You're struggling. There's something on the bottom. I need to just check the bottom. It also doesn't have that silly thing. It does as well. It does. Okay, okay guys, so you need to disrobe both sides. Both sides. Both sides. You're learning you on this right channel now. right here. You don't have to do that for the 12 plus. The so 12 much Pro. Work, yeah. man. So much work. Yeah, why, man? Okay. Where's the instructions? 
No. The box should come with instructions. Should actually. Think, think about it. We were just lucky to turn it around. We opened it up the wrong way around. It's because you were hiding your address, isn't it? Address. So if we didn't unbox it the wrong way around, a lot of people, you know, it's actually going to be a thing. A lot of people are probably going to be returning the their iPhone because they don't know how to open it. They're going to be like this, oh no, they're probably going to damage their case. You know, I don't think they're going to do it. I think they're going to work it out. What was a T-Box before? Okay, T. Okay, that's gone to 0 0.14. Is that, is that good or bad? That's the formaldehyde one, right? No, formaldehyde is HC80. It was, well, you didn't give me that number before, did you? Okay, I'll give you the number give me, now. Give me, give me. 0 0.16. <laughs> Devoc 0.16. Okay, let's open it up. Okay, ready. Formaldehyde has already gone up to 0 0.04, guys. So we've doubled the amount of formaldehyde in the room. It's gone Are from 0 0.02 to 0 0.04. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Are you ready? It still like, says it's healthy, so it's not okay, that big I'm of a deal. Okay, I'm gonna go now. It's just a slight. Get the thing. Get the thing ready. Get the camera. Why? Because they need to see the okay, numbers. Okay, they need to see the numbers. Shoot up. It's not gonna shoot up. Okay, they stay. Oh, oh, oh! It looks good. It's the no. same. Oh my goodness, what, what is that? <laughs> what is that? It's a camera. Has it got a case around it? It's a camera. <laughs> what is that? What is that? Why does it look like boggly eyes? Why? Why does it look like that? I'm sorry, no guys, this is like, I'm no, not, I, what? They've made the sensors larger, so it works better at night. Why does it look like boggly? You know those eyes that you stick on? Why does it look like that? <laughs> Ash, what is this? It's so ugly. <laughs> I'm not even joking, it's so ugly. Can you guys see that? It's yeah. so ugly. Okay, question for you. I don't if, want this. If the camera works better. It looks like boggly eyes. Yeah, but the eye, okay, look. As you Do can these, see. Can these guys see As it? you can see. They pop out. The camera That's so ugly. is gigantic. Why are they like it that? Is, can you show side by side comparison? I'm shocked. Hold your hand, hold your hand. I can't get over this. Like this was a compromise enough, but that is just, show, show, show I feel like I'm using those sticky show, eyes. Why? It's a lot thicker. Why is it like? I'm, I'm, Stop I just complaining. Can't go, I just can't go over it. <laughs> You're really going I'm sorry, crazy I can't on this go one. Over this. All right, let's show a different angle. Look at that. Look. Oh, this camera doesn't like to focus, does it? But look, just you guys can kind of tell it's a boggly eyes, as she said. It looks nice though. I, I don't mind it. Get over it, you man. Can keep it. What? Well, you don't like it. I feel like there's like what? three growths coming out of it. Okay, let's just see the wobble. Oh wow, it really protrudes. It really protrudes. It does protrude. Oh, okay, let's just see if we can show you this. It, this is um, interesting. It really, it's like, it's like, it's like on a it's, stand. It's like, yeah, look. Oh. Can, can I just, can I yeah. let's see if I'm just, that is. Oh, wow. Yeah. I don't know now. I'm a bit upset. You're presenting, right? Sorry about this, okay, guys. You present. just, just take a look at this, okay? I, I feel a bit, I need a moment just to get over this. Okay, so you're just tuning into the iPhone 13 Pro. We're checking out the boggly eyes of the camera over here. You can see that they protrude out a lot more. Hello, on my feet. The There's a lot more. And uh, let's take a look. So that is how it looks like slightly elevated, wow. probably about two, three mils off the floor. Whoa. That's the iPhone 11 right here on is this that side. Real? Wobble that test. Is wobble city. Wobble oh test. my god. Wobble test. Wobble. Oh, test. they've really improved the wobbleness. The wobble has gone up dramatically. Wow. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay, is, that, is that good or bad? Oh. You I know. you wear it with a case anyway. I do, but like even my case is not good. Like, sorry, I just need a moment. I'm a bit sad about this. You want to take a break? You want to? You want to? This was a compromise. You want to okay? take a time out? No, I. Yeah, probably. This was. <laughs> <laughs> Go take a time it's out. It's all right, guys. I'll be okay. I'll open this the window. was a compromise, I need some right? The iPhone 11 was a compromise. Nice, right? You know, this one, it just looks, it looks abnormal. It just like, is anybody else out there with me? Who thinks this just is abnormal. Kind of, and this plastic thing as well doesn't help. I feel like someone just stick three goggly eyes on it, and I, I never really appreciated that it would be so big, on the cam, on the TV. But now when I'm looking at it, it just looks like I don't know if you can see that. You're gonna wear it with a case, right? Yeah, but how thick is the case gonna be? Do you know what I mean? It just really protrudes. Yeah, but just, okay, let, let's think think positively, okay? Okay. If the camera, because what I'm excited about is it's, it's definitely gotten bigger. It's definitely it gotten bigger. It's gotten size, bigger. Yeah. It's gotten bigger. Yeah. So if the, camera, if the camera quality is like twice as good now. Okay, Okay. Fine, yeah, fine. yeah? Fine. Okay, if the camera quality is better, I'll take it. And, and, like, and look, I'll just take the compromise. And look at this. But look, look I'll tell you what, the look sides look nice. The, the gorgeous the nice. gold. They've gone to the iPhone 4S. It's kind of like the 12, although it's Smudge City already. Yeah, it's Smudge, smudge City. They haven't improved the smudginess. You know what? I do, like, yes, it is really reminiscent of the 4S because it's more square and boxy on the sides, whereas the 11 was a bit more um, smoother. So there was more of a curve, whereas now it's gone back. It's kind of like retro. But I do like the gold a bit. Yes, I will be honest. 
the gold is a nicer gold. Previously it was like a rose gold, but now it's more like a gold gold, which is nice. So, okay, I guess I'll just take that. I'll take that. That's a compromise I'll take. And if the camera quality, like I said, is better, exponentially better, then of course I'll be much happier. Wow, look at that. It comes with yeah, a charger. It's like a brand new charging system. It's like USB-C into the, the iPhone one, the lightning one. Is it different? <laughs> nice no, USB-C cable right? to like, it, does, it doesn't come with a charger. What? It doesn't come with a charger. It's like last year's mean? one. It doesn't come with a charger anymore. How much did you pay for it? The same price as last time. Why are they not putting a charger in? Because they want to make the box smaller. What if I was a person who never had an iPhone before in my life and they didn't put a charger in there? I'd be so upset. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying, guys. <laughs> All right, you know what? Enough of the negativity. Let's shake it off and let's see what is inside this beautiful, beautiful um, device that's right here. I haven't got the headphones out yet. Those headphones? They give you headphones? <laughs> no headphones. Are you what? <laughs> no headphones. Really? They used to. <laughs> why? Does it not have music in them anymore? <laughs> what? Why do you have to buy these things? I'm so upset. Why? That was the best thing about getting a new iPhone was you get a brand new white set of headphones that you can use and chuck the other ones away. Oh, that's so sad. Mm. So you just get a USB charge and do you even get instructions in it? Like, is there any more paper inside? No, it? That's it. Do you get stickers? Why you check? So this is the show that you wanted to see, guys. This is the show that you wanted to see. I don't know. Uh, I think it's a. Uh, you're probably better off watching influencers. You get They're probably going to be more, no, you get more a sticker, hyped guys. about this. You get a sticker. It's all good. <laughs> see, I'm, I'm actually considering an iPhone yeah. because I've run out of Samsung Care and I keep dropping my phone. Since I've run out of Samsung Care and I got a, a replacement, refurbished phone, I've actually dropped it six times. Whoa. Yeah, on Whoa. tiles. And it, and I just don't want to look at it every single time I drop it. But thankfully, there haven't, hasn't been any mocks. Now, I should get a case for this, mm. but I don't want a case. Because once you start using a phone without a case, the best case for me is if it gets scratched. Because then I can just use it liberally again, like I used my last phone. So I really miss Samsung Care having it. If I could extend it, I would have. And I'm just, I want a new phone. Because this one's a bit, the camera's rubbish. So I'm considering an might, iPhone. This might be awesome. But I hate iPhones. But I'm considering it. But this might be awesome, Ash. Yeah, but I just don't like it when you turn off Bluetooth. It doesn't turn off Bluetooth. You need to go into settings and turn it off. And it's always trying to track you. But at least on a Samsung phone, an Android, it's got a settings there saying, do you want Samsung to always keep Bluetooth on and scan for other phones in order to enable their Find My facility? And I can say, no, I don't want it. On iPhone, you probably can do it. No, I don't think you can. You, you, there is a setting to say don't do it, but I don't think they res respect you to really not do it because they're, they're always doing something in the background, the RF. So we're going to yeah. do some RF tests soon. Can't but wait. let's go ahead and um, you need to just unwrap it yes. now. Okay, you guys ready? So if you just tuned in, welcome, welcome. We've just unboxed the iPhone 11 Pro 13 and we've just realized that it's got goggly eyes for cameras. But you know what? Maybe it's going to be an awesome camera. The goggly eyes have gone goglier. The goggly eyes have gone goglier. So this is 11 and this is a 12. Sorry, this is a 13. And uh, I guess I like the squareness about it. It does feel retro. You can hold it in your hand a bit better. But you're going to be putting on a case. So you can put it on cases. Yeah. So. But for those of you who don't put on cases and who live lives risky, you might like it. Okay, let's do it. Okay, let's go. You ready? No. This is new. They don't usually put this plastic on. I think they did last year. Oh, okay. I didn't get it last year. Okay, okay go one, on. two, three. Phew. And just like that, it has been opened. So something you might have noticed. Well, it not say really. hello. No, no. What? They've made that top bit smaller. Oh, yeah, you're right. It's shorter. Try turning it on. Maybe you can see. There you go, stuff is happening right, on this channel. On. Oh, exciting stuff is happening. Oh, there look at that, go, the Apple logo. There we go. So, what do you think? If the camera is twice as good as the last one, or even, let's say 20% better. Oh, that's new. It says hello. It says hello. It says <laughs> I think if the camera is like twice as good or, or much better, Maybe I might be inclined to keep it because I do like good camera quality. I'll, I'll get this it's guy so to focus. It's so blurry. I'll get it to focus while you play okay, with it. Okay, so let's have a Show look. the notch. Let's, let's see the notch. So right now, this is the old notch over here. If you can see that when we get the camera a bit more, less blurry. So you can see here that this notch over here is, is actually longer than this one. And I'd probably say it's about a centimeter shorter. Interestingly, the camera on the new iPhone 13 is on the left side of the notch whereas on the past in the 12 sorry in the 11 it was on the right side so there we have that 
It doesn't come fully charged. How's Should the focus? It, it's still unfocused. It's still quite blurry. A little bit still blurry. And we're still blurry. You guys, this is like, this is the channel that you want to be watching. Almost, not quite there. Maybe I'll switch to manual focus. Okay, perfect. And tell me how it, if it's changing. Okay, let's have a look. So, we not quite there yet. Oh, what is this one? <laughs> oh, yep, that's nice. Yep, just zoom out. Yeah, zoom out. Perfect. Beautiful. So we are just gearing up, guys, to How's that's that? beautiful. Good? That's much better. All right, job done. There we go. There you have it. Good, good stuff. We are now in focus, and we can show you guys exactly what the iPhone 13 Pro looks like when we open it up and see. This font is new. It says hello in italics. Usually it was like, I don't know, it had a different kind of font, so that's cool. Um, so I'm only going to open it up once it's on the English mode because I'm not sure what happens if you open it when it's on a different language. I don't want to set that record, you know. I don't speak Chinese or Spanish or... You don't? No, Russian or anything like that. Why not? So I'm going to wait until it says hello again. Maybe I can... Or ciao. You like Italy? Should we do ciao? There you go. Okay, we're ready. Buongiorno. Okay, you know what? Let me just... Let's do English. And open again. So we wanted to show you the there notch. There you go. Done it. It's open. Oh my goodness. And how's the notch? Oh, the it's, notch. it's like half the size. Yeah, it's like essentially It's still shorter. just as long, but it's just a bit smaller, so you can get fit more stuff there. Yeah. SOS. Should we do it? Yeah. English? This is going to be your phone. Oh my goodness. China mainland. Why does that come up? No, I'm not China. That's interesting. That's so the, the top number one country in the world, according to Apple, is China mainland. That's I'm sorry, USA. USA, you've been dethroned. You're no longer top dog in the world. It's China mainland. Yeah. How do you feel about that, USA? I'm no longer even calling you the United States of America or USA. USA. You're a USA. That's really interesting. Close to an USA. But you're not. You're an USA. It never used to be like that, isn't yeah. it? It's the future. So, I just have to scroll down and find Australia. Yeah. Australia is really far. There we go. Australia. Whoa. Oh, did I click on Australia or oh, some weird, weird country? I think I clicked on Australia. Okay. Quick start. Quick start. Yeah. Set up manually. So, you're just going to transfer your whole phone? I guess Or are you going to so. be uh, using it fresh? What do you think? Oh, what do you guys think? Let's just transfer it. This transfer. is going to be your phone, right? Well, unless I delete it. Okay, do we have to put the iPhone, the um, internet in? Yeah, I'll sort that okay, out. You okay. do that whilst I talk to these guys. Actually, you know, I'm going to head on to the chat because um, there's so much chat going on right here. Um, yo, I tuned in for the live stream. There are new, some new sensors in the iPhone. Maybe we're going to check that out really soon. Um, the iPhone costs twice as much as before. You know what? I'm not surprised. What the craziest thing is, though, is they cost twice as much as before and they don't even give you like a headphone or they don't even give you a charger. That I'm disappointed in, but at least you get a sticker. How does it feel? Whoa, it's that's heavy. interesting. It's heavy. Uh, you see the case on the back looks white when you turn it. Look at that. It looks white. Yeah, I used to have one like it that. It feels weird. It's different, isn't it? It's totally oh, different. yeah. It's actually a lot nicer to hold because yeah, it's got it's the, the square edges. It's easier to hold. But it's still got a bezel. The bezel is the same. It looks the same. So it's, yeah. I'm not impressed. It could be thinner, Sorry, I guess. It could be thin. That's all right. Um, okay, Masiji has a, a thing and he says, um, he says, a, a suggestion, he says, it looks like a camera with phone functionality. That's interesting. Get the hammer, get a grinder and grind it away. Yeah, it's not a bad idea. <laughs> you got an angle grinder, haven't you? I do. Uh, get that down a little bit. Um, I like the shape of 11 more. And uh, it's an anti-stress function from an Apple engineer. Mm, maybe the tap or the wobble, the wobble, wobble, wobble. Fabio has just tuned in. Hey, Fabio, how is it going? Yes, me too. Considering from Note series, but not convinced yet. Well, maybe we can convince you to get an iPhone, or maybe not. Let's see. All to be revealed very soon. So right now, we have just unboxed the iPhone 13 Pro. We checked out the air quality, and there's nothing crazy going on from the box itself. So your sniff test, you know, you can probably do that, hopefully, with no issues. Just setting up the, um, the, the actual phone itself now. Ash is logging into Wi-Fi. We're going to open up and check out the camera quality because you guys are so desperate to see what that is like. I'm desperate to see what that's like. And also, we have a real treat for you guys. Right now, it is daytime in Australia. We're going to be making our own movie live on camera. Yes, that is right. We're going to be taking it outside. We're going to be showing you what it's like with the shakiness, what it's like with HDR, what it's like to move left and right, up and down because there was a question in the beginning of the chat forum saying, please, can you check it out because apparently the 12 was quite shaky which is crazy. We might even do a comparison with the iPhone 11 as well and just see what the field of view is like and how this is the goggly eyes of it. Like they do protrude out a lot more, say for example, than the iPhone 11. And it also feels a lot thicker as well. Um, but yes, Ash is, is on it. What are you doing, Ash? It says it may take some time to sell your iPhone. Okay. So it's, it's doing something. It's doing something. Yeah. Do I need to put my Bluetooth on or anything like that? 
I'm not sure. Apple collects hardware identifiers from your iPhone in order to identify and activate it on our servers, services. So we just need to leave it alone for a couple of minutes. Okay. I went to my firewall and I said, you know what? Let's allow this iPhone 13 Pro Thank to do. So taking this seriously, but this isn't an influenza review. No. She's actually going to be transferring all of her data on her new phone. I am. Because I'm trying to force you to upgrade. You're forcing me, but like, you know, the boggle test, the but boggle the eyes. It's the camera. It's the camera. You love the camera, right? The camera. Yeah, you can love the camera. If the camera works well, it's then I'm going to be convinced. It's a camera phone. It's not a phone camera. It's a camera phone. It's a camera phone. Whoa, you need the case for that. Just remind you guys. If you, you know, you if can you, scratch it though, isn't it? If you get... You can scratch the, the lenses. Can I see your case? Yeah, of course you can. Yeah, this is the old case. This, it's not going to fit, but... It's too thick. Oh, it's bigger, it's isn't it? Bit. Oh, it's so big. Yeah, nice. Yes. I like big phones. You do like big phones. But maybe you'll be convinced to get one. Maybe I'll get the... I don't know. I just don't like iPhones. You don't like They're iPhones. just rubbish. I might take it for the camera. You maybe guys like that. Have, like, the thing I guess I'm a bit annoyed about as well, but then this is the same, same with this guy, is the smudges. Like, it was so nice and shiny when we first took it out of the box, and now, like, our grubby fingerprints are all over it. So that's gone. Um... But it does feel very reminiscent of the iPhone 4S, like the square boxiness of it, the feel of it as well, it feels more sturdy. Like this one's quite slippery. I remember when I first got this one, it felt like a bar of soap. Like it just felt so slippery you could slide it around. Whereas this one is a bit more like harder to do the action. It's bigger, but it's not crazy big. Like there are some phones out there that are super big. That one's not too bad to hold in your hand. And I've got relatively mid medium sized hands. I don't think I would be deterred because of the size increase on that one. That is the max, uh, sorry, that is the pro. So it does feel a bit bigger. But it's not crazy big. Like there are some phones that are stupidly big, but it's not bad at all. I think really my irk so far are the boggly eyes around their back. And I suppose the one thing I want to do is just make sure that the camera quality is good because who wants to buy something like that and the camera doesn't work very well? Not me. Let me know what you guys think so far of this review. Um, do you, are you what guys do you think one? so far? Are you, you guys, disappointed? Are well, you? the only thing I'm disappointed in is the boggly eyes. And I think I'm just going to have to see what the camera looks like. Like, what is the camera quality? What else are you scared of? I'm also quite, and I'll be honest with you guys, real talk right now. No, no, don't be so. real talk. Well. Like, seriously, like, what else? Like, why don't you like the new phone? You're scared of what? I'm, I'm scared of radiation levels. Is that it? Yeah. So you, you're worried that it's going to be constantly pinging other devices. I am. But isn't that like an iOS thing? Or is there like a well, new chip in there that's going to be... No, I just feel like ever since the iPhone 8, like the iPhone 8 is when they all changed, right? The, it was like a turning point where the iPhone 8 was nice and safe. There was no Bluetooth situation where it was just always on. The radiation was nice and low. And then suddenly it went crazy. And now every single year since then, it's just been going more and more crazy. And the craziest thing is that I find, like Ash said earlier, is to turn off your um, Bluetooth you don't just go like swipe down and you press the Bluetooth on and on off on the screen over here. You actually have to oh, go into the settings and go into settings and then turn it off because you think you're turning off but you're not. It's literally on in the background. So all I really do nowadays is when I'm not using my phone, if I'm outside, I just put on airplane mode because like, you know, if you wanted to call me, then just leave a voicemail. <laughs> but like I'm becoming a bit of a recluse because of that situation. You're doing your face ID. All right, let's do it. Good luck. I think you just need to get on with it. That's it, you got no choice. Just get on with it. But I do, you know, it's, it's a mixed bag because if you lose your phone, it's kind of nice having your phone tracked and being able to find it. But if you don't lose your phone, it's kind of annoying having your phone constantly being tracked. So, you know, you just need to weigh up the pros and cons if you want to always be tracked or not. Yeah. Setting it up. That's it. Oh, sorry. It's all right. It's all good. Set it up good. That's it. We're doing it. We're doing it. Yeah, I mean, I guess what's scary, though, is like, what if you turn off the Bluetooth on the systems and you're not really turning it off at all? It's still on. That's what's scary for me, I think. Like, if, if it's still on. You know, for some people, they probably don't care about Bluetooth. They probably think that's a good idea because I can just ping something off to my friend who's sitting next to me or I can send them something. If you're one of those people, then good for you. Like, that's all good. But for me personally, I just know that because Ash has done so many tests so far with the RF meters, um, some of the, you know, the AirPods, this crazy radiation, I'm just a little bit more conscientious, let's say, of the risks of a new phone as well. So yeah, you just don't know what's gonna happen in 10 years time, I guess. So it's always good to be erring on the side of caution, in my opinion. Like, as I said, I always put on airplane mode anyway when I'm using it in my handbag, and I turn it on when I do need it. 
But yeah, I, I hope that you can still turn off the Bluetooth from turning off the Bluetooth. That is my, my one worry, Ash. That's my worry. So we're going to be transferring all of your old stuff onto the new phone. Yes. So you turn Bluetooth on and Wi-Fi on, on the same Wi-Fi network, same Bluetooth, and it says set up new phone. And I'll say, yeah, go ahead and set up new phone. And boom, waiting for other phone. You got hold the old phone on the new camera. Oh, that's cool. There you go. Finish on new iPhone. And you need to set it all up again. Okay, cool. I can do that. There we go. Transfer your data. From iPhone. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Like, I guess it's, it's so much simpler. I remember the days when you had to plug in your phone into iTunes and then download it from iTunes, go back up to iTunes and then download that. So You can still do that. Can you still do yeah, that? Yeah, Blackout from Does iCloud. Does iTunes still? It's iCloud now. Oh, okay, yeah. So I remember those days, like you had to do the transfer. But this is pretty neat and swifty. Like you just put it next to each other and it's done. So it's a lot more easier. I think it's a lot more convenient, I guess. Um, so I guess it's just the technology. The technology is, is advancing. Like every, every year there's a new technological feature. It's exactly the same if it helps on Samsung. So I recently transferred all the data from my Samsung and it was pretty much exactly the same. You just put your phones next to each other and it transfers. Terms and conditions, oh my God. We're doing it. Guys, right. it's official. It's the terms and conditions show. We are gonna be reading the terms and conditions. Of course, if you're a good citizen human being and not a dodgy person, you'll be always following up on mandates. So we got a mandate here telling us that we need to read our terms and conditions. Yes, go on Ash, tell it us. It says, please read the following terms before using your iOS device. Mm -hmm. And you guys always conform, don't you? I've yep. seen you, you bunch of conformists. So I expect you all, when you get a new iPhone, to follow on that pattern of conformity and read your terms and conditions. Because by using your iOS device, you're agreeing to be bound by the iOS terms and conditions. So put your masks on and let's terms and conditions get up. Ready. Let's get you ready, ready, baby, let's okay. get ready. And you got, you got to tap on the tab because they know no one actually reads it. They got, they got, they got this, just, just hit agree, hit agree right here. But if you want to read it, you have to, you have to click on this button here. There you go. Okay. Go you're you're going to read us the paragraph. You Terms and conditions as presented to you by Mr. Ash. T -t terms, terms and conditions, terms. And conditions. Terms and, con I need some drink, man. I need some water or something. Some but no, no, I'll go do it after reading the terms and conditions. Okay, go I've got to be respectful to Apple. Go on. I ch hand on heart. Go on, Ash. Yeah. Uh, I'll just go random. Whoa, this is long. You do that. This I'm gonna is, grab some this water. is long. Look how long this is. is. Super long. I don't think anyone's viewing it to see me, man. <laughs> okay, terms of <laughs> me reading terms and conditions. All right, guys, let's take it seriously, guys. Um, I'm gonna read it all because we're probably gonna take that long to transfer the stuff on the phones. So oh, that was weird. I couldn't swap. General, the software including boot ROM codes. Embedded software and third-party software, documentation interfaces, content, fonts, and any data that came with your device. Original Apple software. As may be updated or replaced by feature enhancements, software updates, or system restore software provided by Apple. Apple software updates. Whether and read-only memory or any other media or in any form other. The original Apple software. I'm tired now. Okay, Apple at its discretion may make available future software updates. At its discretion, you have no choice. You must update your phone. At Apple's discretion, they can update your phone. The Apple software updates, if any, may not necessarily include all existing software features or new features that Apple releases. So they can update your phone and the update can cripple your phone. You are agreeing to this, it's right at the top. Hopefully they won't do that, but they can do it. You agree to it. If you use the Express Setup feature to set up your new device, you agree to the terms. Permitted license uses, um, subject to terms and conditions, to the extent Apple has pre-installed Apple branded apps from the Apple Store at your device at any time, pre-installed apps, you will need to log into the Apple Store and associate these pre-installed items. You may not and you agree not to or enable others to copy except expressly 
permitted by this license. Decompile, reverse engineer, disassemble. Johnny Five, no disassemble. Um, the Apple soft, so, so, so far I found out, too much fun. I found out that they can update your phone at their discretion okay. and the updates can cripple your phone. So is that what's happened to my battery life then? I don't know, but they said they can. So you can't sue them if an update cripples your phone. And it's happened before, I guess, with bugs and all that stuff. Terms and conditions. In order to complete certain app or website actions, the Apple software may need to access certain third party. So okay, you agree to use the Apple software in the services, blah, 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 blah. Apple Store, you acknowledge that many features built in apps and services of Apple software transmit data and could impact charges to your data plan. Ooh, interesting. Well, it's just the apps connect to the data. <laughs> <laughs> if you choose to allow automatic updates, your device will periodically check with Apple and updates on your device. If one is available, the update will, that's all right. Using your device in some circumstances can distract you and may cause a dangerous situation. For example, avoid texting a text message while driving a that's, car that's not unreasonable, or actually. using headphones while riding a bicycle. That's good. Yeah, that's a good one. Your device is not a medical device and should not be used as a substitute for professional medical judgment. That is so It important. is not designed or intended for use good. in a diagnosis or disease or any con other conditions. Yes. Transfer. You may not rent, lease, lend, sell, redistribute or sub-license Apple software. Consent to use of data. That's there you go. When you use your device, your phone number and certain unique identifiers for your device are sent to Apple. The certain unique identifiers are unidentified. Is that what it says? It could be anything, isn't it? Oh my goodness. So it could be your name, your it could be your address, <laughs> yeah, whatever. Oh um, in order for Apple to allow others to reach you by phone number, when using various communication features such as iMessage or FaceTime. When you use iMessage Apple, I'm getting a spam call, you're welcome. <laughs> Apple may um, distract you. Go into the privacy order. Services of first party materials, blah, 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 blah. If you sign up to iCloud, blah, 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 blah. Apple news content, your use of, I'm really reading this, man. You are, oh my goodness, it's quite a You well. understand that by using any of the services you may encounter content that may be deemed offensive, indecent, or objectionable. Whoa. By whose standard? What? Like, they're, they're saying they can, you might be getting seen some dodgy stuff on your phone. Especially okay. you, I know what kind of stuff you got on your phone. I know, I know you. Why you do it, I don't know. Why do you do it? Explain it in the chat section. Why, why, why do you have those pictures on your phone? Seriously, if anyone says they show me this picture, you might accidentally show someone it. Mm. Yeah. Mm. There needs to be a password lock on the messages there app be, for all the dodgy stuff you're sending. Because you might want to unlock your phone like level one, just to show someone something, but then you don't want them to go into level two. I actually but, had a friend, yeah. not really a friend, a work yeah. colleague. He actually used a special app to encrypt all of his messages because of all the dodgy stuff he What's would he send. sending? Like pictures of himself, someone. I'm not going to say what he sends because I don't know what he sends because he had it all on lock. Encrypted. But interestingly enough, the app that locked it down was constantly accessing the internet. So, so it's sending someone else anyway. <laughs> yeah. <so. laughs> A lot of people. <laughs> Ooh, it didn't work. It didn't work. So. Face ID did not work. Uh, Oh, it starts from the top oh, again. All right, we're, we're doing shop. this. Are we losing viewers? It's no, good. We're, they're still there. Why they're are saying, you still... It's... They're saying that they're going to sell your data to China. Uh, China was the number one country. So, it was. Yeah. It's, if you buy it in USA, is USA the number one country? Because if you buy it in Australia, why the number one country... Be, why would China be the number one country in Australia? It's strange, isn't it? There's a lot of Chinese people in Australia. I don't know. Maybe. I don't There's know. a lot of Australians. Well, let's Australia. let us know if you buy your phone in USA, do you get USA as number one? Tell us. Or is it China mainland? <sighs> okay. Yeah. Apple doesn't warrant against interference with your enjoyment of Apple software. Your further acknowledge that Apple software and services are not intended or suitable for use in situations or environments where the failure or time delays, and basically that you can't, no oral or written information or advice given by Apple, create warranty. Is it the warranty one? Did they hide it? This is long. So Does anyone actually? My uh, goodness. Does, uh, does anybody actually tap? Like and read this because I know from previous times when I've had an iPhone, I never, I never read. Shame it. on you. I never read it. Go I just for press agree because the problem is you can't not agree to it. Like you have to agree to it to use your phone, so you kind of have to press agree. To the extent that you upload any content through the use of the services, you represent that you own all rights in 
or have authorization or otherwise legally permitted to upload. Stop uploading dodgy. Um, in addition, such services may not be available in all language. License effective until terminated. It's a lot it's of stuff. Long, isn't it? Some stuff's in capitals. Okay, there you go. Go on. This is a good one. To the extent not prohibited by applicable law, in no event shall Apple, its affiliates, agents, or principals be liable for personal injury. This limitation may not apply to you. In no event shall Apple's total liability to you for all damages exceed the amount of $250. What? So the most, if something happens to you it because their phone dollars. does something, as long as it's compliant with the law, so basically the so battery they, so explodes, explodes so just give you $250. the maximum they can give you is $250. Do you agree to that? That's, no, I don't. I want to contest that. I think hopefully in your country, depending on how dodgy your country is, there should be laws to protect you against that kind of stuff. Well, Apple are very clever, aren't they? Well, good. They're very clever. Export control. You may not use software to re-export export software. Government end users. The Apple software related documents are commercial items as term defined by CFR. 2.101. I am computer. <laughs> <laughs> Who writes this? Whose job is it to write this? This must be such a draining job. The use of MPEG. H264. Mm. Something happens. There you go. Something happens. Apple software contains MPEG. Software user AVAC. To, to Yahoo service restrictions. Yahoo's in there. Microsoft restrictions. Apple Pay. Oh my, my God. Eligibility. My goodness me. Home keys can only be added or removed for wallet. Apple card, use supported cards. Uh, you agree? Apple's relationship with you. So they're, they're, they're setting out their relationship that with you. We're actually reading this. Oh. I can't believe you are, Ash. Your use of Apple Pay is governed by this. Oh, I'm so tired. I need a drink. When you enable Apple Cash, uh, let's just read that one. That looks kind of cool. When you enable the ability to use funds in Apple Cash Card to make payments to certain eligible businesses that you authorize direct payments is a service provided by Apple Payments. Your use of this direct payment service is subject to Apple Payments direct. This is the best review of the Apple <laughs> ever. We're giving you stuff that you would never have received before. Jailbroken devices. Oh. If you make unauthorized modifications to your device, such as disabling hardware or software controls, sometimes referred to as jailbreaking. Your device may no long, longer be eligible to access or use these services. You acknowledge that the use of a modified device in connection with services is strictly, strictly, ex 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 expressly prohibited, constitutes a violation of these supplemental terms and the grounds for us to deny or limit access to the services. Additional security measures, you may need to enable initial additional security measures, such as some stuff. Lost or small devices, you can actually get Apple Care to cover you over lost and stolen devices. That's it costs cool. an extra hundred dollars. I figured you got it covered anyway with no, your insurance. You so covered, yeah, with your building and home. Okay. Lastly, just to sum it all up, yes. limitation of liability. In addition yes. to the disclaimers of warranties and limitation of liability set forth in the license, Apple does not assume any liability for purchase, payments, access, identity verification, transactions, or any other activity made during Apple Pay or Wallet, and you agree to look solely to the agreements you may have with your card issuer, payment network, financial institution, merchant, state issuing authorities, or any applicable third party to resolve questions or disputes related to the supported cards, personal payments, and associated activities. Not from Apple. If Apple needs to contact you about your product or account, your you can send to receive notifications by email. You agree that any such notification notices that we send to you electronically will satisfy any legal communication requirements. Wow. Ash, do you have agree? A drink. That I need was, tea. That was something else. I need else. a coffee. That was I something else. I didn't even read it. You, did, you did I didn't read even get it. to the good stuff. I'm here and agree. I'm happy with that. Oh, oh I got to agree. More. agree. Warranty. Oh, you're warranty. If you have recently, I'm here and agree. Well done. Just agree. Oh, you, my you goodness. Got, me, I'm guys. agreeing. I'm just oh, agree agreeing me. it all. So, make. Press continue. So, are we copying our apps and data and the settings? Siri, appear, everything's, we're copying everything. All the same. Do you want to customize the settings? Yeah. Location no. surfaces turned on. We'll, turn we'll just so. we'll keep everything we'll the same. We'll do it for now and then we will. Um, get latest features. I don't want to do that, but we'll actually just do it. Continue. Do you want to use iMessage FaceTime? You probably do. Yeah. Yeah. Let's yeah. Do it. Okay. Improve Siri? Not now. Share audio recordings. Share Thousands. analytics? No, don't share. Preparing wow. to transfer. Data transfer <laughs> cancelled. <laughs> After all that. I did what you asked. Why? What? You spent too long reading the terms I and conditions. I read your terms and conditions. You spent too long. And because I read your terms spent and conditions, they were like, nah, bro. We, we don't want to. It cancelled. So reset iPhone oh to start goodness. setting up again. Reset. Oh, my goodness. Erase iPhone. <gasps> oh, 
Oh my goodness, spent, you guys, this is so long. It's your fault. So you spent too you, long reading the terms and conditions. Because you want to be a good citizen, you want to oh read the terms. I was following the laws. You, you the were laws. Just, you were just doing what they said you should do, and then they said, you know what? Time out. You've been you spent too long. You spent way too long. They should make a cable where you can plug that cable into that That'd cable. That'd be really good. Well, the problem with that cable is slow anyway. They're still but using lightning. Slow too. Lightning's slow. All oh, right, but this is slow too. Like this is um, it's taking Wi-Fi. A while. That's uh, 5G. Why Wi Wi-Fi? Guys, you just tuned in to the iPhone 11 13 Pro review and we've just done an, a live unboxing. We've done the box, we've done volatile organic compounds coming out of the box. Luckily, there is not a lot coming out of this, so it is, well, relatively okay. According to our meter, we need to do a proper course. review of that. Yes, we're going to be checking out. We're going to, once we set it up, we're going to be doing our camera test and the RF reading. We tried transferring the data from one phone to another, but unfortunately, it asked me to read the terms and conditions. Yes. I read the terms and conditions, and by the time I finished reading the terms and conditions, of which I actually skimmed through a bit, shame on me, I'm sorry, report me to your local governments if you must, but I didn't fully read the terms and conditions, and they said I was too slow reading the terms and conditions, and I have to erase my phone and reset it up again. Restart again. So long. So it's, uh, Seriously. It's, uh, Seriously, why? It's, uh, why? It's raising the phone. I guess the one thing, guys, that I want you guys to let me know about, and whether you would like this or not, is the goggly eyes on the back. What do you think of them? Let me know. They do have a little wobble going on. They're a bit more dramatic, but perhaps that is just for the camera quality. Okay, I can see that it is ready, and we are ready to open it up so again, again. So let's do it. So we're going to go English, Australia. Oh, still number one country. Australia. Australia's number remember one. Remember it was China so, before. Oh, that's interesting, guys. Now let's remember. So we have factory reset our phones yes we have but it hasn't actually factory reset our phones Actually, that's because when we first got the phone the number one country was china, china mainland but we factory reset it erased all the data but it's remembered that we're in australia that's actually really scary oh you're, you're scared about I'm that scared so what when you re when you like drop in your iphone you send it to someone else you is do it a factory reset actually is it actually is it actually is it actually yeah. probably not because no. No, we don't know. Or maybe it just saves the country. So now we have to do it all again. I have to do the face ID. No, no, it's manually. Oh, sorry. Yeah, quick start. Bring your iPhone close to it. Oh, okay, cool. Here Unlock it. Unlock it. Okay. Whoop, set up. Unlock to continue. Okay, here we go. There we go. It's happening. Okay, I'm going to be quicker this time to okay, agree to my terms and conditions. On the, hold your new phone up to the camera. Here we go. Keep this iPhone near your new phone. Okay. The information is being transferred. Okay, it's going. I'm gonna do. I'll do it. You're gonna do that. Do that. Okay, we're smack. Whoa. My goodness me. All right, Sarah, just join in the fun. Hey guys, love these Australian early reviews. Thank you so much. And I love your name, you Sado. Oh, he's a cool dude. It's a good name, isn't it? It's a good name. He is loving it. You know what? Anybody else out there who's got an iPhone 13? But by the way, Sado, remember we talked about this last time. We did. Lion Assad. Yes. Oh. There you go. Name. Okay, it's gonna take. A, I've actually agreed to the terms and conditions. Did you even read them? So they it has. Changed. No, it hasn't asked me this time around. Oh. Or maybe it's just doing something. Yeah, it's probably just doing something. So we're gonna do it. On, we're having a little break. Yes. Just Enjoying. Us. We're we're trying to get the cinematic test, the camera test. We've got we're, a real treat for you guys. Like we've got this all lined up, provided the sun still stays out by the time we get outside. And our battery doesn't stuff. die on the cameras. Yeah, we've got some fun stuff organized. Okay, face ID. Let me do this. A face ID situation. You can um, set it up. Alrighty, let's do this again. Okay, good luck. Here we go, guys. Does it allow you to face ID with a mask on? Because that would be oh kind God, of useful. That would be a really good idea. See, my Samsung Note, it allows me to face ID. Obviously, it is nowhere near as secure as Apple, because it's not 3D, it's just 2D. But it allows me to face ID with my glasses on and off, so good. I can unlock it with glasses on and off. That's really good, Ash. Apple give you a second face. They do, actually. Maybe I should have worn a mask. That'd be so Maybe useful. Because nowadays, like, they just extended the mask wearing for Australia, for Queensland. No, but they said as soon as you sit down, you, you can, can take, take it off. off. There you go. It's really good. Yeah. That. So that's why we're not masking up. Wearing masks. We're yeah. sitting down. Yeah. So don't yeah, try saying anything dodgy. Yes. We are compliant. Yes. All right. <laughs> setting so up your Apple should... ID. Well, that's our... So what are we going to talk about now? We, we well, are... what are we going to do? I think we're going to do, like, the camera test first, do you reckon? And then the RF? I'm going to hit agree this time. Oh, you bad boy. Oh, that phone wobbled. It Good. Was a bit wobbled. You know, they brought back haptic feedback. You know, before you had a touch button? Yeah. Yeah, now you got the button back. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Sarah had just corrected us. <coughs> oh, you're right. <coughs> yeah. Sorry, we've got a dog show in the house. <coughs> I think Apple's face ID allows you to wear glasses to your right because I do, I have actually set it up so that I can wear my sunnies because I do have my sunnies in my previous phone. <coughs> Went down oh, the wrong hole. If you have a mask, you got you need no, to. No, no, wait. See, if you read the comment, 
<laughs> you have to read the comment to the audience and then reply. All right, okay. You know, Asado, st stretch it out Asado, a little bit. Asado, you have also commented about the mask situation and the uh, face locking ID. Apparently, if you have a mask, then you need to use an Apple Watch. Does that mean that the Apple Watch allows you to unlock it with your mask on? How, how does the Apple Watch work? Does it have like a facial recognition? I did get an Apple Watch ages ago. <laughs> Say that again. I returned it. The Apple Watch doesn't have a facial recognition so that you can open it with your, with your mask on. So the idea is if you're wearing the watch, it's like a second form of identifier to relax the rules. Ah, got it. Because if you're not wearing the watch, yeah. then it's on, you know, it's on the phone. It's on more secure mode. Got it. But when you've got your phone, it's like a second point of contact. Got you. Thank you, Asada, for clearing that up for us. That is really interesting. Oh, do you know your security code for your cop? Don't tell me, but do you know it? No, not by heart. I'm going to have to go find it. Okay, why don't you go find it? Okay. <coughs> I'm going to have to talk to you guys. And um, we're just trying to set up our phone here. We're doing it over Wi-Fi because we're trying to transfer all of our data. Don't worry, she doesn't have a lot of data. We got the half terabyte edition of this phone because even though she's got the quad quarter of a terabyte edition on that phone, she's always running out of storage because the thing is with phones, once you start taking pictures, it's hard for you to delete the pictures. Like even though we back up all of our photos, it's just... We've all, we're all become phone photo hoarders. We never go back and look at the photos, but we just keep the photos. Because what's good is Apple has some on-device intelligence to go through all of your pictures and just remind you what you did a couple of years ago every now and then. And it's kind of like a nice feature. You can also upload it to iCloud and have that feature, but then you have to give Apple all of the data, which they probably get anyway. But the idea of keeping all the data on your phone, are you accepting it now? I, I haven't, give I up haven't. Accepted, okay, yeah. add in a card. You love, you love I, Apple I, Pay. I actually really like Apple yeah, Pay. Apple I never Pay. used to like it before. But I then thought, she forgot oh, her wallet at home. Yeah, but then one time I forgot my wallet and I was like, oh, I can't pay. So then I called my bank and I set up Apple Pay. And now I just use it all the time. I barely take my wallet out. I just have my phone and it's like, boop, 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 boop. Pay for that, pay for that, pay for that. It's so oh, much more convenient. you got to get a text message, okay. Okay, how's that going to work with that guy? I don't know, man. You ask me questions. I wonder how this, have they thought, oh, there was a, there's a message here. What did it say? I'll have to give it to you. Give us, I'll give you the give code. Me the I'm just disabling. Okay, transferring. Transferring data. Maybe hide that message. And we can always use it when it asks us to it. Perfect. All right, so Go we ahead. are now Bye. officially, we got our phones here side by side. Ooh. They're both, they're now officially transferring data. So we're going to have a little fireside chat in the meantime mm -hmm. while this phone gets set up. And then once it's set up, we can actually do the review, the test, the camera, all that, that kind of stuff. I'm, looking forward to that. I'm actually excited that the camera yeah. size is bigger. I know it looks stupid, but You're if the quality, yeah, because apparently the night, do you know when you take pictures at night? Yeah. It's always a bit blurry. It's always, it's always blurry. a bit off. You're right. Yeah. So now hopefully it'll be, obviously it can't be, I've got an old A7S III recording right now and nighttime, nighttime is bad, but it might be better. It might be better. So I'm excited about the features. Looks wise, it's a bit silly, the camera. But it's all right because hopefully it'll be powerful and hopefully it'll be the best sort of camera in town. It looks gorgeous. You're going to need a case. So that's going to be a bit sad. Yeah. Are you okay with having a bigger phone? Uh, as I was saying earlier, I don't think it's too bad to hold <coughs> in your hand. Like, it seems to be very, very reasonable. Like, it's not like a, a dramatic increase. When Apple do um, change their phones, it always increases by a little bit. And I think they do that because you don't realize that it's getting bigger. But if I was saying, for example, to compare like an iPhone 4 to this one, I think this is a monster. But yeah, I don't think this is unreasonable. I think it's okay. It's, it's not, okay. Not too, it's, it's on the heavier side than the 11. I won't lie about that. But it's only a few grams heavier. It's not, un, it's not unreasonable. But, you know, at the, same, at the same token, if it's got a good camera and if it works better, then I'm probably going to ditch my 11. I'll keep this one. But because of the compromise I'm making for the camera, this boggly eye thing, because of the heaviness of it, because of the size of it, if the camera quality isn't all that, I'm just going to go with what Ash has said and um, increase my Apple Care for another 30 days. Within my 30 days, sorry. If you can do it. If I can still do it. And then I might just keep my 11. Because I do like the 11. The only gripe that I have with it, though, is the battery life. I find that it's reducing, even though it has 100% sat status on the uh, Apple cells when you check it out. Sounds good. Now I've got a question for you. Yes. Before we take some serious stuff yes. happening in the world. Yes. Is it okay if I get a drink? Of course it's okay. Are you able to man the show on yourself? You know what, guys? How long are you going to be? It's like two minutes. Then I have the best treat for you guys. I'm going to give you a rundown. Oh, do you oh, want me to just, I can flick through to show you guys how we uh, picked up the phone. Yeah, and, and, okay, why and, don't we do that? And then you can just 
chat for like a minute. Yeah, let's Maybe. do it. Guys, if you have any questions, with let me know. DJ Nora let herself, me know right now. she's right here. I'm right here. You can ask her anything. Ask away. How, uh, anything ask away. about the iPhone, your experience, yes. what's it like taking pictures, everything. how do you manage your Instagram accounts, what everything. would you do? Like, everything, yeah. everything. So you can ask some questions while the phone's being set up. Yes. Should be done soon. And I'm just going to go get a drink. And um, take a little, we'll show you how, how it was to get this iPhone itself. Yeah, so this is how you do it. You press that button there. Yeah. And then when you finish with that one, you press that button there. Perfect. There you go. Yeah. Getting ready to pick up my iPhone. The queues are super long over here. I'm going to go in, battle with my elbows out. Time to get the iPhone 13. I had to battle through, get it, but alas, I have got my iPhone 13. Let's go. Mmm, this apple is tasty. There you have it, guys. We battled through the masses. We had our elbows out. We were fighting through to get the iPhone 11 Pro, and here it is on our table, looking grand and spectacular. I've gone for the gold option. As you can see, um, it looks so different from its predecessors. This is the iPhone 11, this is the 13. One thing that really caught me out, guys, is the boggly eyes. I literally couldn't get over it for a very long time. It just protrudes out so much more than its predecessors. But like we've been saying countless times before, if the camera quality is actually much better, I'm going to take it. I'm going to take the compromise for it. It did take me about a minute or two just to get over this initial shock. Because the issue is, like, when you put it on the floor, proper one more test. Like, what is going on there? I guess the thing that I'm worried about or concerned about is the fact that it might get scratched, which is probably not... The nicest thing, so I'm definitely going to be putting on a beautiful case like my one in the past. The edges are super different to what it was like before as well. They're more edge, they're, they're cut, they're more harder, they're straighter edges, and they are a lot more sharper compared to its predecessor, the 11. And yeah, I think Ash is back. Hey, Ash, how's it going? But so far, so good. I do like the gold trim of it. It's more gold than, uh, ooh, than my 11, so it's way more golder. But the boggly eyes are just you know something else. But we're going to be checking out to see what it's like with the camera, whether or not it actually does shake, because somebody out there was saying, you know, is it shaking when you go up or down? Does it drop frames? Looking forward to that. We've got some super cool setups for you guys. We're going to go outside very shortly. We're going to show you beautiful scenery. We're going to do shooting our own film, our very own film. Mm, our own film. Now, I've tagged, so you can go. Tag. The shop, tag. tag. And I'm going to be talking to you about some stuff. Perfect. So this is now um, chit chit chat time with your boy AC. Talking about iPhones here. <sighs> Why do I not like an iPhone? Why do I not like the iPhone? Maybe I'll like it. I need to get a new phone. Do you think I should get an iPhone? It's just, uh, I'm not sure. Keep your phone nearby connected to the power. So I'm just gonna let this guy connected. Maybe next time we'll just set up before we go live. That'll be more fun. Maybe next time we'll just run, run the phone on vanilla mode without transferring our data. But since we got to suffer through this, you know, you guys might as well suffer through this. So if you have any sort of questions on iPhones, the reason why I love my note is you got a file. I can get a file. You can get a file. And that allows you to specifically block app internet access, or you can limit it to certain IP addresses or connections. So for example, I can have my syncing application disable all outside internet access, but only allow it to connect to my local computers. So that way I can be happy with a syncing service. I can have a photos application accessing all the, the phones I wanted to access, but not its dodgy stuff in whatever land that it's currently sending its current data with. I did a, a review of, um, I think, a Huawei watch, and it was literally pinging their servers every single other minute. Like, bing, 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 bing. It was like, I don't know if it was tracking me, but it was definitely just bing, 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 bing. And that guy had access to my messages, my photos, all this kind of stuff. And even the vanilla Samsung apps here like Samsung Health, it's always pinging its servers, bing, 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 bing. So the fact that you can have a firewall and disable it is, I don't know, I think it's kind of nice having a bit of privacy, not that I'm doing anything dodgy, it's just, I just don't like it because I'm a software developer and I used to do some dodgy analytics, just constantly monitoring every single tap, every single stream, every single thing my users did. And I woke up one day and I was like, why are we doing this? This is not right. And it was a big thing, big data, such a sexy topic. All the companies were doing it, trying to mo monitor all of your activities. And I was like, 
I don't, I don't want to be monitored. So I just decided that I'm no longer going to do analytics in my apps. So I disabled that feature. And I just don't like the idea of people finding out because whenever there was a bug, we could literally drill down into your user, find out exactly your whole usage pattern. We even could have a graphical user interface to replicate, show you exactly which screens it went to. So if I was a dodgy person, I could have found out some pinpoint accuracy, found out exactly what you were doing on your phone. And lots of people were being dodgy people. They weren't just accessing the data on the phone itself, accessing the data on the app itself. They were going, out, going around your entire phone, scanning it, and finding out what you're doing with all the other apps and sharing that data. And Google was all up for it, because they were like, yeah, send me as much data as you can. Facebook was like, yeah, send me as much data as you can. We need to run in the background, because they were just snooping on as much data as they can on you, so they can get a profile on you, so they can use that for advertising. Eventually, the industry got round to it, and they started locking down the phones a bit more. So for example, on Android now, you need to specifically allow files and folder permissions, whereas before it was kind of like a free-for-all. It was all allowed. The one permission that's left is the internet access permission. Pretty much all apps are allowed to access the internet and uh, they can send whatever data they want and by the time they've, they've been found out, it's too late, your data is gone. Nefarious reasons, probably, but then again, you've got the government spying on you as well. So should you really worry about it? It's up to you how much you care about your privacy. Probably you shouldn't care, or maybe you should care. I just, I just find it annoying. Like. There should be some sort of expectation of privacy at home. That is the law, right? When you're at home, there should be an expectation of privacy. It's when you're out in public, then you're constantly being monitored. That's the law. Like, you take pictures outside in the wild in public access, but in private areas, you should be private. And I think phones and all these spyware devices that we're bringing to our homes should respect it. Like, if you ever go to the Amazon Echo, like, they're constantly just, like, this Google phone's constantly just reading all the words that's coming out of my mouth. Amazon Echoes are constantly reading all the words that come out of my mouth. Are they using it for nefarious reasons? Probably not, it's probably just to sell you stuff. So that's a good thing, but they can be using it for nefarious reasons. And I've seen some dodgy stuff happen. And you guys won't believe it, but you, maybe you will. I literally saw, like, in the streets, this is over in Australia, yeah? You got these little MBN cubes, MBN stations where they have their wires to connect the, the network cable to each other so you can have um, broadband, you know, fast internet everywhere. I literally saw, I'm not going to talk about their race or where they're from, I'm just going to say I literally saw a young, I'm not going to tell you their gender or anything like that, but it was like a ninja, not dressed like a ninja, but it was like a ninja, literally. They were walking in the street just casually and then it took five seconds, Nora also saw this as well, yeah, walking in the street casually. They looked around 17 years old. They walked like this, and then all of a sudden, like a ninja, like this, they dropped, they did a side shimmy, went up and just continued walking casually in front of one of those um, broadband interlock wire connection things. And I went over there, and it was padlocked. So I was like, I don't know what, just, what I just saw, but luckily I had a second person see it. But there is some dodgy, you know, governments spying on each other kind of like situation reading in all your internet traffic. So definitely the governments are spying on you. Whether you want private companies spying on you, well, we found out from that guy, the famous dude, the leak, NSA leaks guy, that the private companies are colluding with the governments to send all of your data to the governments. So, like, maybe if the wrong government is in control, they can use all of that data for nefarious reasons. Of course, you don't know who the wrong or right government is, but good governments are usually respectful of your data. But maybe they're just after bad dudes, so maybe it's a good thing. I don't really know. I just think if they want to, if you're a bad person, they'll just get a judge to warrant them to spy on you. Whereas nowadays, all of your data is being swooped up, archived. They got a history profile of you, and they can go back and target you whenever. It's a pretty sad world, actually. I don't know what's going to go on. I've lost my co-host. She's usually the rational side of the conversation, but she's decided to take a five-hour break. Co-host, you're coming back one day. Yep. I'm okay, coming, she's on coming way. back one day. But in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and read your comments. <laughs> because <laughs> Ash is talking too much. So, do you like the new iPhone 13, Ash? Do I like it? It's a bit goggly eyed. I can see that by putting on the phone on the table already, the, 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 the glass around it has been smudged a few times. So, I don't know about what the quality is going to be. Oh, we got tea. That's yes, nice. Tea. That was nice. I've given you a nice little break. <laughs> You can use Pi Hole. So Pi Hole, that blocks advertisements and that can run your local network. So there is a way 
to allow yourself to be private on your local network if you can route all of your internet access devices through a firewall there and block it. It's a lot harder to achieve the results and that, that's mainly for blocking IP addresses. So you can't block everything using Pi-hole. I do also use another firewall, PFSense, that also allows you to block traffic as well and all that kind of stuff. So you can manage your home a little bit. Some services like Tesla, they are spyware kings they literally force you to connect to their servers. And if you don't connect to their servers within, I think, 24 hours, so every single day, if they don't hear from you, it can void your warranty. So there's some really bad actors, like complete, utter spies. They don't, with Tesla, they are so horrendously bad. When you get a Tesla, you don't get admin rights to your device. You get a customer login and your installer gets the admin rights on your device. So even though you pay money for your device, you, you're, not, you're, you're not the owner of that device. Your installer is the designated owner of that device. So and if you ever try contacting Tesla for support for any issues, they ignore you. That has been my experience. I, I'm not an influencer. Maybe if I was, they might care about me. Yeah. And they even, they, ha they even had the gall to ask me for a customer survey. And I gave them the truth. I gave them the truth about my experience with them. Good. And, and I haven't heard Good. back from them. <laughs> I don't think they care about me. They, all they do is just have little adverts of people rolling down the stickers. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I, but it's, you know, hopefully they're good. Hopefully they're a good guy kind of people. Do you and know, Ash, I just, I'm sorry to interrupt this, yeah. but I have some breaking news. Okay, breaking news. I just went outside to make some tea. I didn't go outside to make it's a bit tea. Hot. I went to go make some tea and I saw some kangaroos jumping around. Are they around? They're around. They're right just now. outside. They're just outside. What with the ponds? Not in the garden, okay. but on the other side of the river. Oh, see the zoo. So I was like, these guys, this would be such an epic part of our movie to show them because they all really want. Oh, but the thing is, it's still mm, sinking. It's still sinking. You should have just stayed out fresh. I should have a new one. Yeah. I'm such a fool. Yeah. I'm such Basically, a fool. Basically, go. Can you cancel this? Take, no, no, keep it. Let's, let's keep oh, it. Oh, we've got to so do it eventually. Annoying, guys. Oh, that's, so we can have annoying. a chit time, dinner time with A and C. A and S, A and N. And what's your name? <laughs> oh my goodness. But you know, it was really interesting what you said. I, I just caught you hearing about Alexa and whatever it was, Google. I just want to tell you a little story. Because well, I never- Before I never... that, before that. One yeah. thing about these Alexa devices yeah. and the creepingness of these devices. So you now know that iPhones, they have that Find My Network where they keep your Bluetooth on all the time. Yeah. And they're constantly pinging all other nearby Apple devices. So they have something called a mesh network. What that means is this iPhone, it's talking to everyone else's iPhone around them and Apple Watch and RF tags and all this kind of stuff. They're mapping your whole Wi-Fi networks. They're constantly pinging each other and they're pinging devices that you don't own. So this phone is talking to your phone without, and is it under your control? Can you disable that feature? They're constantly creeping that effect. So all Amazon Echoes do now, they've recently actually enabled this feature. They've got a net mesh network feature, which you know the ring lights, the security camera devices, mm -hmm. They've enabled an, a feature where they can go ahead and start talking to each other. So yeah. if you're taking a security camera footage, that security camera can talk to your Echo and that Echo can access the internet. So even if, and someone suggested this, even if someone has a firewall to block the, the apps and the services from communicating to the internet, even if you're doing that, they can go on the mesh network to another device's network and that network, if it doesn't have a firewall, firewall respecting the same laws as you, they can still transfer the data to their servers, to their mothership, because they're on that mesh network. They have an alternative route. So for example, if you get a Tesla, they have a, a SIM card in there. So if you don't allow them internet access via your Wi-Fi or via your hardline, they can go ahead and enable that SIM and try transmitting the data over their 3G chips. Got it. Got it. So you can't control your data. It's, control it's completely it. gone. But I'm gonna, so there I'm, needs to be some data laws happening there, there soon. There does. I'm going to flip the switch, right? Because okay, I actually heard something last week. It's actually last Sunday that I heard it. And it changed it's my perspective okay. of, um, of this whole Alexa situation. Like I know what you're saying about that and this and the other. But there's actually a cohort of people that actually benefit tremendously from having an go. Alexa Number in one. every of their rooms. I love that. I See, never, you hear both sides of the story. I never thought Both of sides this. of the story. Literally. Don't I never, I never, just jump I know. to spying is bad. Never, spying can be good. It can be good. I Think never, about it. James yeah. Bond. He was a spy. Good. He was a good guy. Yeah, motivated a lot of people guy. to be suave and smooth, shaken, not stirred. Yeah, that's spying. Yeah, like I never considered this aspect until these people had told me. So these are patients these of mine. These people. These people, two people. I can't talk about patients. Just random people, these right? These are random people. Yeah. These are randos. But 
this was a story of a story of a story. So this okay. is nothing related to anyone. Okay. But this is just like, this is how I envisage this, right? Disclaimer, so, terms and conditions, exactly the same as you read on iOS. It also applies to this 100%. story. 100%. So, so there was a story where there was a... So this is not actually related to any of these people I'm talking about at all. But they have some Brett, friends. Wait, wait, wait. Yes. Actually got a comment. Yeah. Someone actually said, this is the most boring talk ever I've heard in my life. Not right now. It's they not. actually never said that. I've come. They said the opposite. Uh, they said really actually very interesting to listen there you go yeah, there you okay go. boom shakalaka all right so i'm gonna flip the switch right now okay so these alexas and whatever what have you so there was this um people who know people who know people like it's a very very long-winded story but in the crux of it so there is this people um who are a couple i believe i don't actually know them because i don't know them but um they're old of age and they have dementia or Elderly. they're just about to have dementia or mm. they just have memory issues and in every single room they have a alexa or some kind nice. of device i like that but what the good thing is is they use it for is hey alexa what day is it today and i thought to myself as somebody who might have dementia or memory mm. issues you're probably going to forget what day it is but if you've got something there mm. to tell you what day it is then you know oh it's right now it's the 23rd of September or whatever. It keeps you orientated, mm. which as a demented person is really hard to do. So if you have something or, hey, Alexa, what is the weather like today? It really helps them to keep their cognition mm. in, in place, which I thought was really interesting. I, like I never that. really thought of that before. Yeah. And apparently, like, this, this, these people of people of people that I don't know of, I've never met them before, but they were saying to me that each of their Alexas, most Thank welcome, you. each of their Alexas have different personalities and different voices. And apparently they talk to each other as well. So it's, and, and this is what's interesting mm. because they talk to each other and because they have different personalities and different voices, like apparently one sounds like a, a woman, one's, one's a fierce woman, one's an angry woman, one's a nice man, one's like, sounds like a trans, one day he's male, one day he's female. It actually occupies and it makes the people who live in that house feel like they have someone there with them. Mm. So it, rather than being a lonely geriatric person who's suffering from dementia, they're now surrounded by a cohort of four or five different Alexas who might be having different personalities, who will be telling them what the day is, etc. And it makes them feel less lonely. So I was like, you know, I never really thought of, of like saying that or suggesting it to anyone, but like having someone there to tell you what day it is today or what the weather's gonna be like, or even just there to talk to, like say, oh, hey Alexa, do I look pretty today or whatever. It actually acts as a companionship for somebody who might otherwise be lonely or slightly, slightly disorientated. So, yes, I see what you're saying about the whole privacy situation, but on the other side of the spectrum, it might be really beneficial for somebody like that. So I'm going to flip the switch right there. Oh. Okay. How much products have they purchased? Considering they suffer from dementia, they can't remember what they purchased, and how much scams that they've been scanned by because they've been constantly, hey, Alexa, what day is it? It's Tuesday. It's the perfect time to buy a fridge. Would you like this fridge? Sure thing, Alexa. Oh no, I can't pay for it. I'm now kicked out of the hospital because I can't afford it anymore. Has that happened? Is that likely to happen? Well, I don't know because I don't know these people. So but... you sound, it sounds to me like there should be a device, to, like a helping hand kind of device without all of the spyware. But the problem is because yeah. Alexa Echoes are so dirt cheap, there's never going to be a market for someone to come up with a companion device without having spyware built in. So they, as Amazon, the mothership, they've taken, just like Google, the mothership Google have taken over video and they're, they're, they, they can control video, even though it's losing them tons of money, they're using search yeah. to fund video, they're using search to fund maps. It'd be great if you had a decent mapping application, yeah. but no one's going to do that because you no longer pay for Tom Toms. Oh, so because yeah. they're giving this service talking for free, yeah. they're constantly going to be sold. It's going to be something yeah. Exactly. Yeah, So I know. It's never, you're never going to get a good device. And secondly, mm. come on, yeah. think about it. Have you ever tried talking to these assistant devices? Oh, they are the they most. Well. They are the most. Yeah, well, come on, le le level like, the know, bar. On, on, on but a get, get a bar. I talk to my Google phone, man. I'm gonna call her a she because I make her a she, yeah. But she is so dumb, the dumb. I, I think they're, they're doing it deliberately because they don't like me. Like I seriously, You're I say words, I say words, and they deliberately try to troll me. It's like a living troll. This this phone and it likes to ignore me all the time. I say, hey Google, hey Google. Now, it worked this time, that's good. But usually it doesn't good work. Evening. Okay, let's see. Good evening. Hey Google, how are you doing? I'm fine. Thank you for asking. I hope you and your loved ones are safe and healthy. Let me know if I can help with something. See? To to somebody who might be mm, that's alone, right. that's actually a really good have a conversation. Message. This you, is the you, you, know, you can't have a conversation. One thing but it might just be that touch of something that might help them. One thing I do like forget Amazon Echo, screw them. Forget Google, screw them. Apple, what I like about them is, obviously there's a lot of things to screw Apple with. Don't worry, I'm an equal opportunity screwist. But the good thing about Apple is, in the latest iOS, do you know what they're doing? What? 
on device Siri. What does that mean? It means it no longer needs to talk to the mothership to get you really? your result. Yeah, you can say, hey, oh. hey Siri, what's going on today? And rather than using, do you know sometimes you put on airplane modes? Mm, yeah, and it says you need work. to go on airplane. Yeah. It's so annoying. Yeah, like, so I'm like, Siri, set my alarm for tomorrow. It's like, oh, it's on airplane mode. Yeah, but the it's new so version of iOS so allows then, it to do it on device. Really? That would yeah, be useful. Yeah, there you go. That's something. So hopefully, Google might call for them. They might not be. So that means that on this iPhone, that, that exists. If you got, I, yeah, it's probably the latest one. Because this one, yeah. I don't think I've updated. Got some good news. It's only a few minutes left. That's awesome. Yeah. That's you We've know, been rambling for a while. We it's have good. been rambling, Surprise. but it's been kind of interesting as well. Has it? Yeah, because like for me, it was like a different perspective. And like, if the, if are they actually? I've never had too many um, Alexa. Like, to be honest with you, I don't actually own Alexa. Shame on you. I don't. But like, do they all have different personalities? Do they all sound different? Or you do they, choose. Isn't it? Yeah. So you can actually customize. Just like them. you choose, you know, your voice on. Yeah, but it's only two options. Like you've got like no, A loads. or B. You just don't check recently. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's a whole plethora of options. There's a whole bunch of. There's a whole world. A whole new world. Uh, maybe I need to get into this some more. But you know, it always reminds me of that film called Her. Do you remember that film called Her, where the guy is? Like, Why did it remind you of that? Having a that film was rubbish. It was a rubbish film, but it was like he was having a relationship with his. Don't um, ruin the story. With his well, Siri, I guess. Okay. Well, it's not really. He's just having a relationship with the computer. Is that the world that we're going into? Yeah. Because when I heard this story about these old people using this for that purpose, I yeah. thought. Are we all going to just turn yeah. into robots and we're all just going to be like, yeah. just rely on these things? Although they're not very, yeah. their acuity, they're not very yeah. intellectual. Yeah. But one day, may they be? Yeah. And, and will it be that we just, rather than me talking to you, I'll just be talking to Siri. Yeah. Oh, hey, Siri. Yeah. So that's how it reminds well, me. Well, you film. can see what governments want to achieve right now in today's world. Today's world, they want to lock you down. They want to lock you out unless you conform. So when it goes fully online, you won't have a choice. So you can see there's a lot of people getting banned on certain websites here and there because they don't conform. They don't conform to the narrative. In the future, the stuff's going to be in your head. You're going to be you're going to be blacklisted from. You've seen all the sci-fi films. It's going. Yeah. It's going. It's interesting though, isn't it's it? The future. It's so weird to it's think that. The future, that. unless some good data laws are passed, respectful data laws that protect, you know, that doesn't persecute a certain choice. I hope I hope they do because sometimes they they like respecting people that practice certain religions and all that stuff. Yeah. But if they can bring that sort of respectfulness to people who choose to go online and choose to go stay offline, that would be great. Like, just make it work. Mm. Because if you don't write these laws, companies, they're going to abuse it, just like they abuse social mm. media. They got their, what they wanted to do. They started wars with social media. They, that's what they do with the news. They start wars. So, yeah, it needs to be controlled. Whether it will be controlled, we don't know. We're just a bunch of peons. But how crazy is it that we're all living in this world and yet we're humans, but actually when you think about maybe 50 years down the road, like some of you will experience it, maybe some people are a bit too old to experience it, but there will be a time where we live with these machines, like we live with them now, but it will be like a higher level of, okay. of robots. We need to start talking about a game we recently played, because that's probably what you're thinking about. But mm. I'm going to say two, three things actually, before we get to it. One thing we're going to say is, some guy said, you can use Pi Hole, you can get a Raspberry Pi, and it's good to go, set up VPN, great. Great, so when you're at home, you can block out certain websites and IP addresses, great, you can block out ads, but as soon as you leave your home and go outside, boom, all the apps have access via 4G, 5G, 3G. So you're not protected anymore, so you need a device firewall as well. So there is a device firewall on iOS, I need to try it out. Last time I tried the firewall, it just didn't work, it was awful. The only firewall I can get working is on Android, I love it, I use it every single day, I love it. Best firewall I got. Yeah, I got a video on how to use it. I loved just seeing all the dodgy apps doing dodgy stuff in the background. Dodgy, every single app is a culprit. Anyway, so that's number one. Number two, you're saying about crazy stuff about humans on Earth. Yeah. There's more ants in the ground. All the fish yeah. in the sea. You know, some, uh, in Australia, crazy, yeah? Actually. Everyone is a fisherman. They just sit outside and just fish. Hours that's what, days hours, and days and days They go and, and it's addictive. They GoPro themselves. We, saw, we saw a neighbor one day. It was like a Thursday. We went out to have dinner and then we came back and they were still there. Yeah, and then six we came... hours and he didn't even no, catch any fish. What a then, joke. <laughs> then we came back the next day and he was still there. He was, he was out. He was out trying to get a big one. So he had a fire and a campsite. So it depends on what you're doing. Like if you're trying to get the little fish, you use little bait and they're easy. But, but you shouldn't be getting little fish. Fish is catch and release. You catch them and then you let them grow because you want to help the ecosystem. In, in Australia. Although there's fights because the foreigners apparently, according to the Australians, they like just capturing all the they fish, all and, the making, fish make and they grind them together to make fish sticks. But yeah. I think you're only allowed to keep them if they're over 20 centimetres Yeah, legally. Long, but check your local laws. But basically, they love yeah. fishing. I don't know where I was going with this. I was saying, yeah, technology. Yeah. There's lots of people. But what is things. crazy, yeah. just look outside on the sun. you got yeah. a big, giant ball, a fireball, fireball, just a fireball just right there. Yeah. yeah, 
Um, yeah, so this stuff isn't crazy. It makes you think like you're such a small person. Like you are me, a small I person. always, whenever I feel a bit overwhelmed, I think I've said this before, I always just look at the sea and think, there's all this water, it's so expansive. Sharks. Okay, I'm so small. Sharks, Sharks yeah. yeah. I'm such a small person, yeah. my problems could surely not be so big compared to like the expanse of the water. So yeah, hang in there guys. Whatever it is you're going through, hang in there. You are a small person in this whole grand scheme of things. But yeah, I don't know where and we're going with And the third fun. thing go on. I was going to say, yes. I completely forgot. So there you go. There you go. Yeah. Well, let me just tell you some things guys, because um, we've got Masaji is back and he says, what about iCloud Plus? What's iCloud Plus? iCloud Plus is iCloud Plus. It's for free. They've added it together. I'm going to just remind myself what iCloud Plus is. Go on, because I use iCloud and I actually subscribe to iCloud because I have to pay for it because the amount of space they give me is not enough for free, so I have to pay a bit more extra money. So I wonder what iCloud Plus is and whether it's any good. And Ashley's going to find out right now. Um, so we'll find out that really soon. It looks like there's more storage. Looking at Ash's screen. Oh, yeah. It's the iCloud private relay stuff. So it's not a firewall, but it's kind of like what you're doing. It's kind of like what Google's been doing with Chrome all their time, except it's on a device level. So in Google Chrome, they have a power sa um, a data saving mode, which means every single time you want to access a website, rather than accessing the, accessing the website, it goes to Google servers, and Google servers access the internet, access the website, download all the data, and then send the data to you, but compressed, even more compressed, so you don't download that much data. It gives you a sense of privacy, because when you access the website, the website, unless Google are doing it a bad way, isn't knowing that you're accessing the data, it's a where you're from, it's only getting the Google servers that's accessing the data. So with iCloud Plus, you get iCloud Private Relay, and maybe they do it better, maybe they don't write you out fully, but the idea is, it's kind of like how they hide your email address. So when you access a website, the website doesn't know exactly where you are, your IP address directly, but they know that Apple has asked for that data. So it's kind of like a level of protection, but it's not a full-on firewall because it doesn't fully protect you as much. And there is such a service like VPNs, and VPNs, they do hide your IP address more so. But the idea with VPNs is, do you trust them? Like, I've used several VPNs, and it's like kind of like Dodge City. So do you really want to um, send all of your dodgy data to the VPN? And they say, some VPNs say they don't collect data, but do you know that? Have you ever done... Has the VPN ever been audited? So go through their terms and conditions, find out the last time they got audited, who they got audited by, was it their mate Harry, or was it their other mate Megan? What is going on with that? But basically, VPNs are great if you wanna do dodgy stuff, but I wouldn't run all of your life through a VPN, because a VPN could be collecting stuff and doing some, you're just giving a third party your trust and access. And I guess you have to do that in the world. You have to do that, you have to trust mm -hmm. people. You do, you and have but, to. But you know, Sometimes you should listen to old people. Because I talk to old people a lot, yeah, it's where I live, retirement village. Anyway, the point is, <laughs> they always tell me all of these horror stories. They, they used to say, like, the person who's most, most likely to rob you, or the person they, they've heard that robs you the most, is the locksmith that installs the lock on your door. The person who's more likely to rob you and take advantage of you is the security person who's responsible for monitoring the house because they know exactly where the locks are, they know exactly what the security system is, and they know exactly how to hide their tracks. And they when know they do... when you're in the house and when you're outside of the so, house too. So they might not necessarily rob you, but they might have a dodgy mate that they leak the information to. So kind of like, your best defense is not to live life or just live too many lives and then everyone will hate you and then they'll have to, I don't know what you're doing, but I'm just telling you this. It's easy to be naive in the world, but sometimes bad stuff happens and you start to wake up to maybe starting to defend yourself. So there's a difference between courage and dumb. So sometimes being courage is knowing what the dangers are, but knowing that you have to fight the adversity because it's what has to be done. But being, just, just going out there and fighting for the sake of fighting, writing for the sake of writing, is just dumb. You're just, you're just looking to spark a fuse and just mm -hmm. get some anger out. But Believing in a cause and standing up to tyranny and going for it, that's courageous. So that's, and obviously history judges you on if you are courageous or dumb. So that's, yeah, I don't know why I started talking about I'm this. I'm not too sure, but I just want iCloud to Plus. <laughs> oh yeah, iCloud Plus, that's it. I told you, yeah. I've just Hide your emails, all that kind Knoffy, of stuff. Knoffy, you mentioned that we should improve the lighting. I've just changed it. Is that any better for you? Let me know down below. And um, yes, you have that. Thank you. You said that it was good. Thank you so much. All right. Akash Stephen has joined in. Actually, it's two-step, Ash. You can connect to Apple servers, and then it gets forwarded to a third-party VPN. I think they were using Akami slash Cloudflare, and it comes 
uh, back. So the website is seeing third party. But Apple themselves say it's not yeah. a VPN. They don't fully, they just, I think they just do it for the handshake, so the initial contact, but then they do a direct connection to you. So Apple themselves have said it's not a VPN. Don't think of it as a VPN. It's just kind of like a masking situation. But you know, if you trust Apple for all of your, you tell them exactly every single website you want to go to. Yeah. <laughs> your public IP is usually his third party. Yeah. Yeah. Talking about Germany here. Hello yeah. from Germany. Hello, you guys are a bit is. famous at the moment. Everyone's always quoting you. Why are they quoting me in Germany? Yeah, everyone's saying, oh, it reminds me of Germany. Oh, God, I'm not going to go into that. I'm not going to go into that. Oh, look, okay. news update. Yeah, saved, saved. We have just literally bombarded you guys with a bunch of information, which was highly important and highly impressive. But more to the point now, we are setting up this iPhone 13 Oh, it's almost Pro, done. And we're almost done because you guys really want to see what the camera's like. I really want to see before the sun goes down here. It is now 5 uh, I want to see if the battery's going to last. 5.30 and uh, yeah, I'm so up for doing this film because actually I want to do a film for you guys outside. Before it gets dark. Before it gets dark. Oh. We literally got about 15 minutes yeah. before the sun goes down. But it might be an epic picture that we might show you guys. And actually what's more interesting is that if it is light right now and then it gets to darkness, it's going to be a really good camera test to see how well it performs in the dark. In the night. You guys, we are giving you all of it here on Hesitech Live. We're giving you light. We're giving you dark. We're giving you camera quality, microphone quality, radiation test. We're giving you the quality of the air that comes out of the box itself. If you missed that, go forward a little bit, go backwards a little bit, but a little bit of a teaser. The air quality was the same in the box as it is on the background. But I still need to set this guy up properly. Up. I still need, I was using a Tam Top. Check it out. I got affiliate links. Yeah. Let's see how many I can sell. Uh, let's see how it's going. Let's see how it's going. Yeah. I've, got, I've got the initial readings as well on my phone. Let's have a look. It still says good. We've got the window open now, so it should be like, oh, it's a lot nicer now. We open oh. up the window, the particles drop from 800 to 470. 400, so it's reduced by half. Formaldehyde is 0 0.02, oh. so it's calmed down now. It was 0 0.04 earlier. Yeah, it was 0 0.04. Yeah. So there is a degree of air pollutants, which we naturally thought would happen. TVOC has gone all the way down, 0 0.07. It was that, like, was, that was, was like higher, yeah. High, wasn't it? Yeah. What's the TVOC then, Ash? I have to read that one. So basically what we're doing, guys, if you just kind of join the show, is we've got an air it's quality like, meter and we're seeing what the air quality is like in our room when we unbox so the it's new iPhone. volatile organic compounds. Mm, it's the Vox. So it's the, no, pollutants. So total volatile organic yeah. compounds. Yeah, you know That's Vox, you always look at it on the volatile devices. Organic compounds. So actually, interestingly, if you guys are ever interested in painting your house, um, there are actually paints that have a low Vox count to them. And I think we use Dulux recently and you get the low Vox count one because some of them are super smelly. And they How use low? A lot of volatile compounds. Wow, the AQI has gone really down. What's the AQI again? The air quality index. So it used to be oh. 20 something, now it's gone now, to 17. Ever since we opened the window. And we opened the window. That's a good lesson for you guys out there. If you, I suppose if you're somebody who burns a lot of candles or incense things. No, it's not that. Or just doesn't open the window. Yeah, open, open your window. window. Because there are a lot of natural pollutants going on. We're going to be so conscientious. And don't just run your air conditioning. Because yeah. I spoke to the air conditioning guy, rewind back about the air conditioning story about them having a leak in the gas and trying to poison us. Thank you very much, air conditioning people. I've been telling you that it's not been running well for the last few months. And you've been not checking the gas. Anyway, point is, air conditioning recycles the air in your home. Yeah. So if you want to get fresh air, you still need to open a window. window. Well, it depends where you live, because maybe in some cities, it's pollutants. You probably don't want to open the window. Probably... <laughs> like, for example, Cairo, like, if you live in the downstream car, you don't, oh, you don't downtown all the Cairo, traffic. you wouldn't or, want yeah. to. You just keep your window closed. You're better off keeping windows closed than opening them up. Are you guys excited? Oh, I'm excited. Because we have officially, the phone is now ready to unlock. Is that real? Ready to roll. Mine's there you go. Mine's still transferring data over here. No, is it? It says about four minutes. Four minutes? This one's done. How? I don't know. Whew. So How is it doing it? So we've... Oh, it's just downloading some, no SIM card installed. That's all right, we've got a SIM card. Okay, we'll give it four more minutes since okay. we've waited this long. Yes. But it seems really to be installing. Wanna... And then we'll be transferring over the SIM. Oh my goodness. Doing and some RF do tests. The photos. Can we do the photos first? We'll do the, do you we guys want to see RF tests or videos first? Photos and videos. Yeah, okay, let's stop. We delay. haven't covered the EMF just yet. We're going to be doing it. But the question is, are we going to be doing photos or EMF first, bear in mind that we want to capture a little bit of the dark light. She wants the to dark. do, she I wants really, to. I really want to go outside because the kangaroos are hopping along. It looks really fun outside. Um, the fish are jumping in the water. I really want to check it out. I've got a question. Yes, then. go on. So I think Perestrochia glasnost Love it. says they don't like the color of the gold. Mm. Because if you look at it, the 11 Pro is kind of like a gold, copper, brassy gold. Brassy yeah. gold. Yeah. The 13 Pro is kind of like a silver gold. It's true. It's very light. It's true. You know what, And it looks very white towards the back. It's weird, isn't it? Because I remember there was a ceramic one. I think the iPhone 8 had a ceramic back. Do you remember? And it was like a whitish ceramic back. Whereas this one is a bit more like that. It's akin to that. Do you know what I'm going to do? 
I'm going to transfer you your SIM. Go for it. So we know that 3G is no longer available on iPhones. It's no, 4G plus, remember. Really? But you don't use 3G anymore, you've given up. Because no. 3G used to work exist. really well over yeah. here, but recently they've upgraded all of our uh, towers yeah. and 3G just works horrendous. It used to work well, and so you know we just have to upgrade, got no choice. So I'm going to switch over your SIM card. Okay. I remember oh, yeah. last time, we never put the SIM card in properly, so we thought that there was a cut. <laughs> You're having a giggle now. That was funny. So I'm going to take out the SIM, just watch this live. Have you put the camera on the other one? No, I've given oh, up on that camera. Why? What happened? I figured no one's watching anymore. Oh. I'm just doing this for myself. Self-enjoyment. Self-enjoyment. <laughs> Self-enjoyment. Okay, cool. All right, guys. Oh, look right. at that. Oh, it is oh. typical. Bye. There you go. Do you reckon you can swap them around? Probably not. I don't not. know. I think it's going to ruin it. This phone is so curved. It's weird, isn't it? It's super, super sweet. It's a nice phone. Four minutes yeah, remaining. Sorry. Okay, I'm going to keep it You're about to sabotage it right now. Oh, no, it's transferring over Wi-Fi. Oh, okay. No, I guess so, yeah. Dun, 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 oh, SIM card. I remember when SIM cards used to be really big. Do you remember? They used to yeah. be like big and bulky, and then they got really small. Do you know, this is actually an electronic device. It stores data on it, it's and it also has read-write memory. That's crazy. So you, yeah. It's so tiny. Yeah. I, I was fascinated by that. It is fascinating. I, I never really thought of it like that, but yeah, you're right. It's just something. It's actually a chip. It's so crazy. We're going to one day have these in our brains. Yeah, why not? Why not? They'll be yeah. implantable under us. Have a giggle. <laughs> What's she going to do with your life? <laughs> Imagine you put. Oh, what was that game that we were playing? Yeah, okay. Oh, so we're talking about robots in the future. Yeah. So we played this game. I think we clocked in a couple of days. It's What's called that? Detroit oh, yeah. human. Become Human. Okay. Talk about yeah, it. Yeah, it was a fun game. So basically, you have to choose your. Well, actually. It's, it's one of those pathway games. Remember in the old days, I don't know if anybody read one of these books where books. you you go, like you read a chapter, then it tells you depending on what you want to choose, it goes to page like 138, for example, and it gives you different stories. So this game was rather like that. So you do one story and then it gives you different pathways and depending on which pathway you go to, gives you a different outcome at the end. So um, for example, we had like the main characters, three or four different main characters, but each of them had their own pathway. And it, whether you killed them off early or whether you kept them, really kind of deciphered what the, the story would be. And so for us, we, we ended up killing off one of the main characters quite early. We By didn't no like him. of our own. But no, we just, didn't like him. We didn't like him. I didn't like him. And I chose to sacrifice myself. Yeah. yeah. You should, but then when we found out on YouTube, people had done it. He, like, he had a really substantial yeah, a cool path. character in yeah. the whole of the, the journey. It wasn't just like the 10 minutes we played before. He was actually carrying on for like four hours. And the idea of that game is, is they're trying to get Android rights. So the, the Androids, they think that they're human and they want to be acknowledged rights. So they, they go protesting and you can choose to protest violently peacefully. or peacefully and you can choose how to protest. You can sing, you can... Fun. We clocked it. We had a good ending. It was fun. It no, was it fun. ended really badly on a bad note because I oh, chose to go that route. Don't it's a fun it. game. I, I like... At the beginning it was a bit slow and it tedious and it had too many... Because we played their last, last game, Heavy Rain, and that game was like top quality. That game was like number one. This game had too many characters, too many main characters. But it did, it was, I guess it was different. If it was the same, it would be a bit annoying. So we now need to play their middle game. I can't wait. What's that one called? It's with that little girl or... Juno girl. Ju yeah, no, but she's now a boy. boy. But back then it was, and she's playing the character of a girl. And uh, so we need to play that one. And that's got William Dafoe as well. That's true. But the that's point is, mm. um, yeah, Detroit Become Human is a good game. And we loved it so much that we spent the next, was it two and a half hours, watching Ooh, the hundred alternative endings on YouTube. Yeah. yeah. And it was, it was kind of fun. Obviously, I skipped through, through yeah, a few of it. It was fun, but what it showed was like living in a world where you're living alongside um, androids, and that's just part of your human. It's kind of like, cool, isn't normal. it? Yeah, a lot of the humans nature. were like abusive to their yeah. android servants. But you could just like they, they, they came in different characters. Like there was one that was like so fit that could teach you how to be a you know a fit person. There was one person who was like a, the perfect child. There was the perfect mother. It was all just like perfect robots, and you just live alongside them. So it was, it was fascinating. I think I really enjoyed that, that well, game. What, it was good. What's, what's cool is, like, how well do you treat your phone? Like, do you love your phone? I love your iPhone. Or are you always just giving it lip? Oh, I hate, you got an ugly camera. Because maybe it's alive. Oh, maybe, it's, maybe it's thinking about you. Obviously, all of you, think about this, yeah? Just, Go on. I'm not saying pretend, but just maybe you should be a good person. All of you, we talked about this earlier, yeah? All of your data is being collected right now. Yeah? And it's being harvested on servers. And it's being chronologically kept. So they know what you did. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So when the singularity occurs and these machines have a brain for themselves, they have access to the historical data since day dot. 
So they can, when they come alive, they know who you are and how you treated them. So maybe not now, they might not be, you know, respectful. You can, but if you disrespect them now, in the future, when they're alive, they might come after you for the disrespect you gave them. That's They're, quite scary. That's a scary thought. Historically in humanity, I think you just get given a new law and all of your past transgressions are wiped away. Unless it's like an invading army that takes over you and judges you for your prior actions. So unless there's a war. But there should be some sort of point of safe haven where they say, look, I'm alive now. Yeah, but Treat how, me nicely. How can, you, how can you legally enforce a robot to do something? Because they are like all powerful, all commanding. How can you restrict them when they're super clever? You can't. You're the ones who are going to have to be abiding to their rules and their laws. You just have to protest, isn't it? You have to. Yeah, but then they'll just squash you and you'll be like a human extinction. It depends on if they need you. So if they need you, like in the Matrix, Why where they, they use you as storage, you know, energy, then they want to get rid of you. They want to eat you. Or maybe they want you as a zoo. I don't know. I'm not a robot. I don't know. Maybe just... we should make a film about this. A robot. Do you guys yeah, okay. want to join us? Okay, so we're, we're just. <laughs> Is it still four minutes? It's I think still... this guy's forgot. Should we just try it? Should we just try and see what happens? Okay, let me try it. Should we just see? It's just downloading. I got the new SIM in. I guess I can do an RF test, but it's going to be high because it's transferring over Wi-Fi. Mm. It's, it looks the same. Like, it looks I'm not using it. It looks the same. Why is this one not working? I'm going to change the name of this phone. Go on, do it. So guys, you've just tuned in. We are transferring data. It has taken about half an hour or so. The iPhone 11 is still saying it's got about four minutes, even though it was about four minutes, four minutes ago. So I don't know what's going on there. Do you think it's crashed? No, I'll just give it a couple of minutes. Give it a couple more minutes. Give it a couple of minutes. Probably just thinking. The other phone is uh, They're a bit accurate. Is doing something. And we were talking about like sci-fi adventures when the machines take over. Should you be treating your phone nicely now? Like, I love you, little phone. Yeah, but it doesn't have legs and it doesn't have arms. Yeah, but so did you hear what I said? You? In the future, when they wake when up, does, they have all of the history. They, they got do. all of the Siri they recordings. Really they got all really of the do. Google recordings. Yeah. They got all of the cameras. They got, even when you're out and about in the street, yeah. there are security cameras everywhere. It also yeah. has microphones. They are picking up all their activities. Now it's going to be laborious for a human being to go around monitoring where all the people have went. But for a machine, mm -hmm. it can follow you around Super where exactly cool. you was. It got your GPS location of your phone. It can triangulate you. Go from security footage, yeah. was you slapping up your iPhone there, and then you may be judged. <laughs> Hopefully, when they wake up, they'll tell you, look, we're human now, or we, we need rights now, and then you'll have some time to fix up your character. And it's yeah. only if you're still abusive to them, then there That's might be some sort of situation. Work. That depends on if you respect them. You might say, you know what, no, you're just protest. a machine. You might protest. You're just a program you to think protest. that you're alive. You might say, let's, let's just EMF bomb, boom, done. Reminds of that show. You never watched it, but it's called Person, Person of, Interest. of Interest. I want to watch it again because it was like an old show, maybe from like the early 2000s. But they use all these technological advances like cameras and voice recognition to like find out where people of interest would be. And then the two people would go and try and find those people because they'll tell them that they're in danger of an imminent threat. So maybe in the future, it won't be two people doing that job, but rather it'll be like a bunch of AI people having a look and making sure that everyone's uniformly acting in the way that they should be. Hmm, interesting, interesting. Ash, what, what do you like most about this iPhone so far? It's so slow. I set up my Samsung phone like that. It was done. This is, really this is like, it's been stuck on four this minutes. Is what is it transferring? Slow. I'm trying to, trying to change the name of this phone and it's just giving me the spinny bar. Do you think it's just like crashing or? That's so stupid. Like I just, my Samsung phone, I transferred the data, it was done. What's wrong with this phone? Why is it just like saying four minutes? It was just about four minutes. You know, you guys wanted a review. We're giving it a real life review. We, yeah. we tried transferring our data once. Yeah? Do you know what happened? I went through, read the terms and conditions. I skimmed through portions of it. I went, click next, agree. It said, you spent, it said timed out. Basically, mm. I spent too much time spent reading the terms and conditions. That they gave us to read. Yeah. And then I had to erase my phone. Factory reset my phone yeah, and start again. It, but then it remembered that we were in Australia, so yeah. technically it didn't, it didn't fully erase it the phone. Erase and now I'm doing the transferring data again. I'm trying to change the name of the phone. It won't let me change the name of the phone. It just says the progress bar. And it's been saying four minutes remaining for the last half an hour. Oh well, maybe goodness. four minutes. So I don't, I don't know, know what to what's do. Going yeah. on now. We should have set up with a new phone. I need some food. Mm. You're hungry. Do you guys want to eat some food? Yeah. <laughs> this is the real life this is iPhone like, experience. You know, this is kind of annoying because I just wanted to check the camera quality. Mm. Like, you know, I had to put up with the Shall we just eyes. do the camera quality now? 
Can we do it? Yeah, we can, can do, we do it without doing this room. anything working. Yeah, should, well, we should okay, see the selfie just camera. Do it. Ash, just do no, it. no, I, I want to do. do I want to do this. We can't compare it with the eleven though. That's the problem. Okay, photographic styles. South Lake. Right, guys, you're just tuning in. We are checking it. We're going to skip the transfer. We're going to do that in the background. No, we're doing transferring. But we're also going to check out the. We can't compare it with the eleven. I want to do this. Oh, it's the we screen. Can't compare it. Oh, okay, who cares? I can oh, you can press it. cancel. No, no, leave it, leave it, leave it. Leave it yeah. Yeah, okay, that's what it looked like. Should we take a picture? Yes, we'll, let's take a we'll picture. do compare it with no. We're yes, gonna do selfie because you know that's what people it, do. Available to yeah, us. Yes, so we got two phones here. One's a Samsung Note 10. It's it's like decades old, two years old, and one is the iPhone 11 Pro. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna take a yeah. picture. Oh, is it wider? It is. Samsung's wider, but you have to make. No, oh, it's not. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay, there we took go. our first picture. Shall I do first the front-facing camera as well? Yes. You want to do front-facing camera? Yes, yes, sir. Standard settings, okay? Oh, oh hello. Sorry, I forgot there that. There you go. <laughs> it's all right. I'm going to go take a picture. Okay. I'm going to be doing the modeling pose for the pictures. We're into the camera quality already. Oh, that's what I wanted. That? Well, yes. We're into camera quality. We're going to be checking it out. And right now, I'm just taking a few pictures. Oh, yes. I'll just wait slowly. I put on timer mode. Uh -huh. Take it off. I'll take one more picture. Okay, go for it. Okay, this is side by side with the note. I'm gonna also turn off the lights. Oh yes, dark time setting, you guys. It is getting dark. Low light. Out there, but we are doing a camera test. I'll be honest with you, it looks the same. <laughs> Does it look the same? Does it really? Oh my god, that's shocking. I should do a video. Should oh, I do a video? Yeah. Maybe the video yeah, is better. Do a video. I thought the camera would be amazing. Do a video. I'm kind of disappointed with that. How do you do video? video. How do you do video? Where's the video go? Oh, what's going on there? Is that one of those ones? That's different. Maybe you got to do something different. Oh my goodness me, the video is not looking No, there video. it is, it's back. Okay. Okay, obviously Samsung phones are rubbish. So this is normal right. light, yeah? So we're going to test the microphone and the okay. camera, okay? You're tuning in to an iPhone 13 Pro unboxing. We're doing the camera quality test right now. Do it left and right, up and down. Ooh, check and see if, yes, are the frames dropping? Oh, it's still wobbly, yeah. It's still wobbly? Yeah, it's no. a bit wobbly. Yeah, it, it looks no. like, yes, yeah, it's, it's still wobbly. It's no. not It's not smooth. Are you kidding? Yeah, it's not smooth. That's I'm going to do low light in the video. Okay, low light now, guys. We are doing the camera test for the iPhone 13 Pro. Here we go. We're doing a camera test for the video and a microphone test as well. Yes, we are checking this unboxing live of the live 13 Pro iPhone back and forward, front and back, up and down. Is it wobbly? Yes, it still is. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. That's not good. Oh yeah. Ash, what's the prognosis? It's all right. Let's put the light on. This is, this is like some heavy, heavy stuff now, guys. You are tuning is in to Heads of Tech Live. We're about to tell you guys how it performs with- Can we do a selfie one as well? Yes, we can. Yeah, I'll do a selfie video. This is cool, I like this stuff. This is fun. We're gonna do a proper camera test outside. We're gonna do it. It's probably gonna be low light, but Let's do it, okay. Yo, 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 yo. It's so orange on the Samsung. Yes. That's awful. It yo, really yo, yo. That. Yeah, you can see the shadows. Ooh, it needs boosting. Yo. <laughs> yo, your face is totally different. Well, I look so, it's like, crazy. Why is it really black? Yeah. I'll oh, check out, check them out. Awesome network cable coming out there. Good stuff happening. Subscribe for that video. Find out I how to. I look so different. Yeah, different. What is my truthful self? You look different too. Hello, 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 hello. All right, this is... We have it, guys. There you have it. We have got the preliminary findings of the iPhone 13 Pro camera settings. Ash is going to import this on his computer to share Should I import it, it or should I just play it on? I don't know if you guys will be able to see it. I don't know if they'll be able to see it. Hmm. How hard is it to import? I'll take a second. Okay, cool. I think you should do it. Because what? you guys want to see how good... Oh, how good it actually performs, right? I'm going to show it on the phone as well. Oh my goodness, it's so dark. Okay, let's just start from the beginning. Oh no. Oh no. Let's do it. <sighs> okay, so this Shocker. is, let's just, oh, we got this camera. Yeah. Let's get this camera back All in All right, action. we'll show you on the phones and then we'll transfer it over as well. Action, you guys, you're tuning in. We have got the camera test ready for you. Not okay, yet. Let's, okay, we're gonna get the camera test. So guys, right now, we're gonna be checking out how it performs as a camera. Um, and for still photos, it also helps for us for video. We have done a couple of up and down movements with the camera left and right as well, because apparently, according to somebody right early on the screen, they said that the iPhone 12 dropped a few frames. It's quite wobbly when you were moving the phone left and right, and they wanted to know whether or not this still carried on with the iPhone 13. 
Sneak Creek. Yes, it does. But we're going to check it out for real with our lovely um, Ash. He's just downloading the photos onto the computer to show you guys how bad it actually is and whether this is worth your money and whether or not these big goggly eyes are better quality compared to the Note. So far, we're comparing with the Note because my iPhone 11 is still transferring data for the next, I reckon it's going to be another, like, I don't know, a while. It says four minutes, but it feels like it's going to be a lot longer than that. So at least for now, we can have a look and see how this compares to the Note. Um, what's, what's the feel? Did you like? What are the colours like? Because I did see a big difference in the colours there. Which one's the truth colour? We'll find out very soon. And we're also going to be checking out what the microphone test is like too, because it's really important when you are, say, shooting a film or something like that, to have a good microphone and, uh, and clarity as well, I suppose, with your voice as well. So all those things are going to get covered really soon. And if we're lucky, and if this guy does want to wake up one time and transfer all the data for me, um, we are going to head outside and we're going to do a little bit of uh, outdoor shooting. Isn't that right, Ash? Yeah. Outdoor shooting. Good morning, everybody saying good morning. Hello, how are you today, everybody? You're tuning into the live iPhone 13 Pro, and we're going to be checking out what the camera quality is like very, very shortly. Ash is just uploading it as we speak right now. You guys, we're giving it to you raw. We're giving it to you good. <laughs> the iPhone camera, we're going to check out whether or not it's good in high lights, low lights, medium lights, sunlight, outdoor lights. It's all happening. And for me personally, I really want to know if the compromise is worth it because you've got the Wobble City, because the cameras just, the lenses just stick out like no, no, like unreal. They just stick out so much. So we're going to see if the camera is, is all oh, that. that good stuff. Yes, we're going to have that good stuff. Go for it. Go for it. Oh my goodness. And it's still transferring the data. It's still got four minutes apparently according to this. I'm transferring over the videos and the images because I'm going to give it to you a screen capture to get you to see awesome. the quality. 100%. That would be awesome because I think that's probably the best way to show them what the wobble's like. So is it really bad, Ash? It didn't look good on the phone. It looked like it was losing frames like they described. Why do you think I'm going to keep it then? Just calm down. There might be a way to set it out. Maybe disable hate. You don't need HDR. HDR's for the interesting okay. people. We'll just see. We'll let you guys know what Ash's verdict is because quite frankly... Why is it? Why are you like phone? triggered to return your phone? Why don't you want to upgrade? I know going to be like a bit You're scared dodgy. of RF, that's what I'm you're scared, scared of. I'm scared of RF and I'm sure these guys out there want to see what the RF is like as Yeah, but well. your iPhone 11, you just, you manhandle it. You put it on I airplane mode, mode all the time. you put it on Bluetooth, yeah, disable but, that. You know, it would be nice just to have a phone that you don't have to like it's not gonna happen. worry about. You're entering like, the future. When I put this in my bedroom, I don't want to feel like I'm getting like the equivalent of Vox as radiation when I'm it sleeping. It doesn't matter, it's meant to be all healthy for you. It's meant to be very, very low, so it doesn't make a difference, anything. I'm not sure what to say about that. <laughs> you're just a cynical kind of person. I'm a cynical or, person. Or like you want to see more studies before you're confident. Correct. I think that sounds very, very reasonable. I guess you're, you work in health, isn't it? So you're concerned. Yes, I think that's very reasonable. And what else have we got going on, Ash? We're going to be checking out the microphone. We're going to be checking out the camera quality, the video quality, the lighting quality, the color as well, because I did see that some of the color was a bit off. And um, Well, we're going to have yeah. it on a MacBook Pro screen. Actually, we're going to be just streaming our screen to you. So there's going to be okay. no like, you know, Sometimes the brightness gets adjusted automatically. There's going to be okay. none of that happening here. Okay, cool. So it's very, very neat. It's just going to be this or that. Perfect. Also, I need to check the setting. This was just the default settings that's been on. So okay. I think it will be standard. So we'll find out. I need to different. go for the okay. settings we'll to see. We'll check it out. Um, that's cool. And then we're also going to do the RF stuff, right? Later yep. on. Because I'm interested. As soon that. as it's finished syncing the data, do you we'll go outside. Sync? Yeah, Has there been any experiences before where it just doesn't want to transfer the data for over four minutes? I might actually time it. So it's, it's 15... Sorry, it's 17.50 right now, and this should be done at least It's by definitely hung, because your phone is now up and running. Yeah. So I don't think it's transferring data still, but maybe it hasn't, I don't know why this one is hung on four minutes, because you can still use your phone. Surely if it was transferring data, you wouldn't be able to use your phone. It wouldn't have said transfer finished, Correct. or finishing transfer. Maybe I can just press cancel. Why? Well, no, wait, why do you so want to, you, you want to do it? So iPhone, no one really cares about, does, does anyone actually care about iPhone 11 versus 13? Yeah, but I want to see. Maybe you do. Maybe I do. Yeah. I you do. should really upgrade your phone every two years. Mm. Upgrading it every year is not worth it. No. Unless you're like a flashy person. But like, is it flashy nowadays to have an iPhone? Back in the day, it was flashy. It was like, wow, you're a flashy person. Oh. But nowadays, having an iPhone is like bread and butter. Everyone's, everyone's, got, everyone's got one. Everyone's got one. And actually, people are moving away from iPhones. Like, I had someone, I met really? someone the other day who... I thought they love iPhones. ...who had a phone called... Oh, I can't remember oh, Oppo. It was. Oppo. They're like, oh, it's so much better than the Note or the Samsung or the iPhone. It's like there are different phones. I'd never heard of Oppo before, quite frankly. But like they were saying that the camera quality is really good. So maybe that's it, the future. Is people are going away from this and they want to make other phones more flashy. Maybe. We've got a breaking know. announcement. What's that? Based Welshman is hashtag free Australia. 
So we got to just spend a good minute doing a silence for the Victorians out yeah, there. so sad, actually. Just we suffering, they, suffering they over there. Soon. Yeah, they got going for a lot. Uh, maybe New South Wales, is basically everyone in Australia yeah. suffering. Just they got locked down. They got a really hard lockdown, and a lot of my friends and colleagues who work there, they haven't been working for six months, which is like detrimental. It's to horrendous. Income. Like, what, what what do you do in that situation? And it's the health it takes the toll, the rates. So you know, much. people so sad. Like some people are suffering from depression. Health. Yeah, they're, they're struggling like financially, emotionally. Not socially. even that. They can't meet their friends. Their their health appointments are being delayed. delayed. Yeah, they can so no longer cool. do their ABCs. Yeah. So sad. I remember it's when it was happening sad. over here, a lot of people's appointments were being delayed. So it's really sad. Yeah. Really and they had an earthquake the other way. And then, they did. Melbourne had an earthquake. and then they banned all their builders from building. So I don't know who's going to repair the damage from the earthquakes. It's terrible, actually. And now they've got the riot police in. Yeah. There's some, I don't know what There's they're up to. There's a lot going on in Australia. I don't right know what's now. going on. And I think we could just wish them the very best because we're in a fortunate state right now. We don't seem to be so badly affected as they, but things can always change. Well, like. What's bad is, as well, there's going to be like mass migrations just moving out of the state because some stuff's happening over there. Mm. And it's going to have a knock-on effect to the people that are living in, for example, this state. Because no one can actually afford a home anywhere mm. in the city that we live. Because Re property prices are crazy as well. There's no places to rent here. And all the house prices, they've literally, they've gone up crazy. We had some guy buy a, buy a house down the road for 800k under 800k and he sold it six months down the road for 1.29 million so he made like almost half a million just purely and all he did because paint it. yeah because everyone in victoria new south wales they're just randomly buying properties here sight unseen for ridiculous like markups because they're trying to escape lockdown mm, so and sad. and it's such a big knock-on effect because the people that are currently living here no place for them to rent and they have to move city to find a place where they can afford. So there's a, a big mass migration going on and as soon as they open up the international borders, I don't know what's gonna happen. Probably people are gonna come over here. Didn't they come to Australia? Of course. But we've had such a bad experience so far. Why would they come well, here? Well, we had a great experience in this state. Yeah, but there was nothing the, other states, the other states have been pretty rough. Like, I don't know, know why. I want to move somewhere where there's, you know, you can't work and you can't, like, you can't, you can't go to work, you can't afford anything. The mortgage repayments. I know somebody who said to me that their family lives in um, New South Wales and they have got so many backdated mortgage repayments, but they said, you know, it doesn't matter about the mortgage anymore. All we care about is our health. Like, you come to a point where you're so in debt that you don't care about But it's about interlinked. Money. Your health is also your health, right? You know? Yeah, of course, of course. There needs course. to be some sort of, like, just because you made a decision, you don't need to stick with it. Like, you can, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I don't know but what's yeah, going on in the world. I agree with you, um, space Welshman. I think you're It's right. sad seeing what's going it's on. It's sad, like, and we do... And seeing your fellow, fellow brothers and sisters, yeah. you know, pitting against... Because even the police, they're also someone's son, someone's daughter, someone's brother, someone's sister, someone's mum, someone's dad. They're also part of the same team. Yeah, team we're Australia. All we're Team Australia. Yeah, yeah. And so you're seeing your yeah. siblings fight each other. Sad, isn't it? It's really sad. And then you got to pick sides now. Who do you support? Yeah. And it's kind of like you don't want to pick sides. You, you want to support. United. I think when you're united, you are just a lot stronger. Yeah, but just, then you just like I don't know what you do. I don't know what to, I don't. And it's hard to know who's telling the truth. Like whose side is is just. It's hard to know whose side is just. So yeah, just take a moment of silence for free Australia. While, while transfer our data to our phone. Has it worked? Oh, uh, yes, yeah, transferred over the files. And it's we the are... news. It has been, uh, I can see it's been six minutes since I last checked on the phone. And it's also four minutes. But we moved, used the camera. Okay. So we're going to be able to show you. Perfect. iPhone versus Samsung. And that we'll I'm show you on the about. screen. That's that going to be exciting. About. That's going to be fun. Ooh, that's oh, that's a nice my picture. Goodness. There we are going to be checking out some awesome, awesome. Oh, that's a nice picture. Awesome, awesome is going on right now, guys. If you just tuned in, we're now about to check out the camera quality of the iPhone 13 Pro Edition. We're checking out the videos, the still images, and also light and dark, as well as microphone testing as well. So there's a whole lot about to be downloaded in this next chunk of the video. You guys, it's been fun so far. We've had so many fun comments. Um, you guys, just let us know if there's anything else you want us to cover whilst we're here. We're going to be doing the RF readings very, very shortly as well. And if there's anything else you want us to see as well, please let us know in the comment section below and let us know where you're tuning in from and are you going to be getting one of these for yourself or are you just happy with whatever phone you've got yourself? This is like super expensive. Is it worth the hype? I don't know. We're going to find out together. This is on the screen right now. So I want you guys to guess or just let me know who has the better camera quality so far. Oh, that's really interesting. Because I'm... 
Well, Obviously, they're, they're reflective, the one pictures. Is, one maybe, is I, sharper. maybe I can flip, flip it. One towards. Is sharper now, we are compa comparing a two year old Samsung Android phone, not even the latest S21, this is the S10, and we're comparing an iPhone. Really and I'm just going to zoom in on, oh, I'll zoom in on your face because my face isn't really much to see. But you look different. I look very different. Oh. One is sharper than the other, I have to say. I'll one is more blurred. I'll zoom in. I don't know which one's which. That's your face, face makeup on point. Good job. Thank you very much. <laughs> so just look, look into the eyes and which, which eyes? Well, one looks brown and sharp and the other one just looks like a blur. But is it just a sharpening filter? Like for example, if I go into tools, adjust color and sharpness, just sharpen it up. Oh, hello, what did I do? Like, do I just increase the sharpness? Why, does that. Why not just zoom out? Mm. Hello? Yeah, if I increase the sharpness, is that all it's doing? Let's zoom out. It's possible. Because it looks the same now. It's possible. Let's look at the jewellery. The colours are different though. The colours are very different. Like my hair looks like a different colour in the left and the right. Whoa, this app's awful. Okay, let's look at the jewellery. Has there been a dramatic improvement there? Mm. It just looks like the sharpness filter. Mm. But maybe that's just me being me. Yeah, it just looks like it's over sharpened. Which one was which? Oh, you can't tell the difference. Mm. Well, let me just look at the colours before you tell me which is which. Which one do I prefer? The which most? one do you prefer looks wise? Is there I a... actually think that the right one looks a lot clearer than the left one. Yeah, so the right one? one is the iPhone 11 Pro, iPhone 13 Pro. Is that right? Yeah. But there's not much in it, guys. There's not a lot. Two years worth of technology. Not, are you seeing anything stand out? A picture is still the same picture. Maybe the colors I'm, are slightly different. Got more grey hairs here. I'm getting older here. Got less grey <laughs> hairs here. Yeah, it's very similar. Yeah, it's not an awful okay, lot. let's let's go to the next photo. Okay, that's a good good picture though. Good good to decide and see what's what's what. I'm gonna get all three. That's okay, go on. Then. Let's, let's do this. What do you guys think of that one so far? We had the Samsung and we had the iPhone 13. iPhone 13 was on the right and the Samsung was on the left. So it's interesting to see. Okay, this what's second this picture. Next one? And we're using HEIC on, on iPhone and we're yeah. using just normal JPEGs on Samsung. Okay. And HEIC, something you, no one ever tells you, look how slow they are to, to appear on the Load. screen. Yeah, like super, you press, super, super long. it's so slow. Yeah. Whereas JPEGs, boom, just there, mm. just there, just there. So we're gonna go into the second photo. And this is the camera quality preview. I like this. We're getting it live. Yeah, Kanafi saying the right one is brighter. Yes, I agree with you. Kanafi, okay, there right it is. is brighter. Let's take a look at this one. Uh, can you zoom in a little bit and see? Yeah. Let's just zoom in on your face. It looks like you're doing a different pose, it's isn't a different it? Different pose. Yeah, Was surprising. That at the same time. You know you. Maybe. Or maybe. <laughs> maybe it's different. Let's, maybe timing. it's this one. Different pose. Different poses. There you yeah, go. There you go. It just, uh, it just looks sharper. Yeah, look at my hair though. The color of my hair looks different. The colors the right are different. Than the left. It's definitely sharper. You can see more lighting around and here. And my lips look redder on the right than they do on the left. You look gorgeous on the left though. Thank you so yeah. much. It's a bit too much contrast on the right. But if you just increase the sharpness, what would that do? Let's just try that again. Is it just colors and sharpness? I was sharpening it up. Maybe, maybe it's not just colors and sharpness. Because I'm seeing a bit of like green here. Mm. So yeah, it is Great definitely way. better in that picture. I can definitely see this one's very soft. It's yeah, not as good soft. quality. And this one sharper. does look sharper. So you can probably work a lot more with this picture compared to the last picture. What is going on with Mac OS? Why is there a big border here? Oh <laughs> What's wrong with this app? Okay, let's go. So this, is, this is where the difference is going to crumble. We're going to be seeing some difference now. Because we're going to go the low, low light one. Oh, so this is where sense. it starts looking terrible on the Samsung. And this okay, is, well, of course, a two-year-old Samsung. Why well, is there a difference, really? Not really. I, I can see yellow here, yeah. and this is white. So there's definitely a difference in the color tone. I can see the writing on the iPhone yeah, here. Look at that, the writing on the Look iPhone. Whereas it's that. totally overblown on the, on the Samsung. There you go. So That's interesting. But <laughs> this looks silly, man. Look at this. They've deliberately, you can see the outline. The yeah, you can see the edge. Yeah. So in their iOS software, you can see that they've applied a different wow. 
exposure level because they've recognized this is over brightened and they've made this more viewable and they've applied a different exposure level on this. So this is software that at its best, just trying to make the picture better. And side by side here, you're definitely a lot sharper. Mm. So the sharpness has improved. Is it a bit too sharp though? It, it probably is. A little it bit. probably is a bit too sharp. It's not like I can see more. I'm zooming into your face here. Well, Beautiful face, low. by the way. Thank you so much. It's so blurry on that. But it just looks like it's it's just got that bubble effect. Yeah. So they've just Pixel. they've run a filter on it. I guess they've, they're using it all the time now. It just looks like a filter. So it's not like mind blowingly different. It's not like you're seeing like a, a crazy bokeh effect, but maybe I don't have portrait mails on, but it shouldn't have portrait. Yeah, you're not getting like a special, I don't know, I'm, it is sharper, sharper. Are you impressed? It's or? sharper, like. Maybe it's good. I used to see what's gonna be like with the, um, the, with video. the 11, and, and the 11 as well. Let's see what the comparison is. Okay, so we're gonna go with our first video now, and we're just gonna play it and see what happens. That's super bright, that one. Yes, all the things. Oh, yeah. it's wobbly. 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 Mm. Obviously, Samsung's rubbish, but let's just see. This was with the highlight, wasn't it? Not low light. It's not actually that bad. The colours are bad, but it's mm. not that bad. I want to know what it's like when you move it backwards and forwards. Yeah, it's also wobbly. It does the same thing. Yeah, it's okay, a shutter, that's isn't fine it? Then. That's fine. It's just, it's just cameras. It's just the phone cameras. But like, is it, is it any different? Is it better? It just looks. I look more yellow. It's just the colors, really. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's sharper. Okay, let's go into the next one, which is low light. Low light. So let's see what that one looks like. 13 Pro iPhone. Oh, that's awful. Okay. It's ultra-wide. Yes, yeah, I'm just changing oh them all. Goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. That's not good. Oh, yeah. Ash, what's the prognosis? It's still low light. You know, it's nothing it's special. So, it's, it's not, but different. let's compare it with the Samsung, see how bad that one is. So it's not like mind blowing. That one's terrible, right? Mm. Or is it? Like, let's see. It's worse. So it's definitely it's the iPhone. Blurry. Yeah, it's but you blurry. always use lighting in your videos because it definitely is better. It's a better sensor. Mm. You can see it, but it's not going to break the, the, the world. You know, it's still, that's terrible. That's there. Oh my goodness. So it's a better quality camera. This is selfie, selfie video. It's me just having fun. Look at me, just enjoying my life. Look mm -hmm. at me, I'm getting filmed. I've got a smile on my face. Nora's looking at herself in the mirror. She's starting to, <laughs> to like herself, good job. I'm happy with my cables. And now let's see the iPhone. It's flipped. It's just a bit whiter, isn't it? A bit brighter. It's still grainy, it's not like I guess it's more grainy. It's all right. It's not. It's not that. Like it's just, it's just normal, right? Mm. Yeah. I don't think there's anything to shout about. Like it's <sighs> just, it's just a regular camera. At the end no, of but the it's day. it's better, right? It's better. I just want to know. I wouldn't. Okay, that's, that's doing something. Now. It's oh, it's almost done. It's doing something. Okay, we're gonna have to go outside in low light. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to get a low light test for this one. Like. I'm gonna check the settings of the camera that I used. Yeah, I think you should because it's not. It's 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 better like it's better than the, um, your notes your Samsung note but then your Samsung note is it's really awful, old. It's yeah, old. It's awful, yeah. It's old anyway. So yeah. like, I want to know how much better it is from the last one. Like, unfortunately, we don't have the probably, twelve. Probably to not much. It, but it doesn't seem like it's going to be like remarkably or exponentially better than the last one. Maybe it's better in edge cases. Hmm. Interesting. What do you guys make of that? I, I really want to know. So you had like the um, iPhone thirteen Pro on the right side predominantly, and then the Samsung on the left side. And this is um. 4K 30 frames a second, HDR video. HDR, what yeah. do you guys make of that? Was it what you expected? Or was it less, or was it more? Or were you thinking that it was actually 
beat your expectations. For me, probably I had a bit of a high expectation for it because given that the camera protrudes out so much, I thought, whoa, this is gonna be something special. Like it's gonna be super big, it's gonna be awesome. And actually when you look at the camera quality, it doesn't, it's not like a DSLR camera. It's, it's just, well, I, don't, I didn't imagine it would be that good, but for what you're compromising on with regards to these bad boys on the back here, I was expecting to be a bit better than that. A little bit disappointed. I'm not too sure if I'm gonna keep this. No, you gotta. It's a new phone. You need the new Apple Care, right? I think I'm gonna see how well it compares with my okay. previous 11. This is what I'm looking forward to. Go this on. is cinematic video. So add beautiful shallow depth of field focus transition to your videos automatically. Your video depth information is stored and allows you to later change the depth effect. Okay. So I'm gonna click okay and I'm just gonna... Oh, it's nice, yeah. Oh, okay, that's a bit blurry. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's fun. It's, it's pretty much um, portrait mode, but on video. So, oh, so it gives you a bouquet. Yeah, so I'm gonna, just, I'm gonna video bouquet. right now, just give you a little video. So, introducing the iPhone 13 Pro in a world when Nora doesn't know which phone to pick, she mm. decides she wants the iPhone 13 Pro or 11. Will the iPhone 13 Pro screen ever finish? Ooh. I wonder, which one shall I go for? Hmm. <laughs> it's not perfect. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, a, it's got funny blurring around your, your head. I'm just going to see where else it blurs. It's a giggle. It's, it's fun. You just don't look too carefully. It's kind of cool. It's, it's trying to get your hair. Let's try moving around a bit. This is fun. <laughs> it's, it's got the cinematic mode right now. <laughs> yeah, I think so. It's, it's pretty cool. So, mm. Okay, so I'm far away. doesn't really do much effect. You re it's really good for up close. That's when you really see, oh, that looks gorgeous. But there is an edge around your face. Yeah. yeah it's a bit of fun. It's a giggle. We should go outside with this, you know. Okay, let's do it. Let's shall, go outside. I'll, I'll show you these videos. Mm. I'll just quickly transfer I them up. Because they are a bit of a giggle. Bit of a giggle. But it's a bit of... what it looks like outside. Yeah, it's going to be dark outside, so... It's going to be dark. We'll get a torchlight. We'll get a, a light. How about that? How about I just try to transfer this over? <laughs> well, on the good news, guys, for those of you who were waiting with us for the four minutes to elapse, it has now shown us a different screen. So, it says transferring data to iPhone 13 Pro. Keep your other iPhone nearby and connected to power until the transfer is complete. So it's still transferring it's, data. It says connected to power, but you haven't connected to power. Does that mean anything? No, it's just like make sure that the battery don't die, die before it finishes. <laughs> okay, cool. But it doesn't have like a minute update this one. It's just like it's there. It's going to do something in due course. So we're going to wait for that to happen. Um, actually, really interestingly, my phone on, sorry, my battery on my iPhone 11 is dropping down. I guess it's because I am doing a lot of stuff with it, but I just feel like that's a, a significant drop for the time that we've been doing. I guess we've been streaming now for like over an hour maybe. Oh, is that long? Wow. Maybe more, Hopefully the battery will die. Actually, it's six, it's six, yeah, we're down to like 3.30, so. So you, you guys just wait until the cinematic mode camera, because it zoomed in right on her face. So you, it does blur a bit of the hair. So if you've got antennas, it will blur them away, oh, which is yeah, probably good. good or that's bad. That's a good thing, that's a good thing. It's a bit like of a antennas. giggle. It works really well up close. Whether I would use it, I don't know if I will. Maybe if I was having a giggle, I will. Because they've released a new version of um, iMovie, which allows you to add the cinematic effect in post. So it's probably better, less destructive, to record it first naturally and then mm. add, because it's all just a computation yeah, anyway, to add it in post rather than being forced to use cinematic cinema mode just in case it breaks your shot. But for, if you're doing like one of those filming competitions or just having a bit of fun with your mates, mm -hmm. then it is a bit of a giggle. I do like it's yeah. a novelty feature, but there's no reason why the new Samsung Note shouldn't be able to install it. It's true, it's true. And I've got a question from Ventislav. He's saying, what is it transferring so much? Are you using the iCloud for storage? She's probably, I don't know what she's doing. I don't, don't, I don't know what's me. going on here. I, I, I genuinely don't think I have that much information on my phone that it's you like... Probably do. Do I? I don't know. I think I delete my photos regularly. I don't have like a huge amount of stuff on my phone. So I'm not too sure why it's taking so long. Do you want to see do. your videos? I do want to see okay. the cinematic. So right now we're doing cinema. Oh, it looks fun. The cinematic. It's, it's blurred the background. Mm, that's cool. Oh, it had a bit of difficulty with the text there, didn't it? It's all right. For a while. See, the hairs are being blurred yeah, out. Yeah, okay. It's all right, it's fun.
definitely fun. It makes, it does make you pop out. It's definitely fun. I don't know where I'm going with the camera, but it's a good location. <laughs> definitely going with the camera. It's nice. It captures your, oh, it blurs out your eyes in the front a bit. It's not perfect, but it's a bit of a giggle. It does look mesmerizing, like dreamy. Yeah, it looks dreamy. Next one. Let's see. So when it's far away, I guess it, it does, work. it does blur a bit, but it's not as impressive. That looks gorgeous there, isn't it? It looks really nice, and it's okay. Blurs a bit of your eyelashes, but it does look nice, isn't it? Yeah. It's it's very dreamy. It is dreamy. Very dreamy. It's it's a bit of a giggle. It's fun. It's fun. Like I think it'd be fun if you want to um, shoot a mini film, like TikTok. Who else is on that? On if you guys are on TikTok, follow us at Heads of Tech. We do some crazy stuff there sometimes, occasionally. But this might be fun to put some stuff on TikTok for. I reckon we should go outside and make a nice little mini film. Let's do what it. What do you think? Yeah, I think we should do it. So how should we do this, guys? It's getting dark, so should I bring a torch? Do you need a torch? I don't know. How dark is that? Let's see. Know. If we can go outside, otherwise we'll just... Probably that's good enough. Oh, it's dark. It's proper dark. Okay, we're good. let's do a night test. Let's see let's if cinematic it. mode works in low light. Because we've seen that it works kind of nice in normal light. Yeah. So let's just go outside and see what's going right. on. So this is going to be a fun trip for you guys. We're going to take you to the back garden. It is a bit dark, it's past sunset, so it'd be good to see whether or not it does work effectively. Now, we do have cameras set up outside for you guys. We might um, have lose the audio you for a little bit. Yeah, we might lose you, but we will hopefully not be too but long. But can we do it? Because it says keep your iPhone nearby. So, like... Mm. How long is it going to take? I don't know. Man. Oh, it's so annoying. I want to play. Okay. I really want to play. Has anybody done this before? Like, has anybody transferred and it's just taking forever to transfer? Forever. What oh, do you have on your phone? An hour. It's taking an hour. What do you I, have on your I phone? Think we should have set up as a new iPhone. It's so annoying. Maybe she, is it your photos? Maybe I don't know what it is. Oh, it's so frustrating though. Just work. Would you work? What's annoying? It doesn't tell you what it's transferring. And it doesn't tell you how long it's got left. Like it told us four minutes, and then that was it. And that's saying it's transferring it again. So why is it not transferring? That's very frustrating. Things I don't tell you when you got like a new phone. I feel a bit envious of your Samsung because that was just like one dot and it was done. It was done and it, it actually had a, a, a meter and it told you what was done and I had a quarter of a terabyte of information you on my old phone. More, I had like 220 terabytes. I didn't terabytes. have half the stuff as you got that I have on your, that it was mm. on your phone. And you just so. transferred it over Wi-Fi in half an hour done. That's a bit annoying. I don't know why it's so slow. It would be quicker to put it on, plug it in, I guess. It's so frustrating, guys. We want to go outside. We want to take you guys outside. We've missed the sun, unfortunately, but we have got a little bit of low light outside. We're going to take you outside hopefully very soon and we're going to shoot a mini cinematic film. Oh, um, why don't I just do the low light is. test here? See if cinema, cinematic okay. mode works in low we'll light. Because we tried cinematic mode in, in light light. normal light. Perfect. So you we'll got do that then. So I'll see if cinematic okay, mode. So here we go, guys. We're about to do the cinematic test in low light. Oh, it's gone dark. So there we have it, cinematic mode for the iPhone 13 Pro. And how good does it do? And is it able to capture? Is it able to capture? Yes. Ooh. So it doesn't work in low light. It says it says on the screen. Doesn't work. More light required, so it just reverts back to normal, oh, normal okay. video in cinematic mode. Okay. So you need to have kind of like a. A light. Oh, I should say what. You need, to have you need to have one light. of these fellas. Oh, he's got something. He's got something. What are you guys up to? Knoffy's saying, please stop your stream because I need to work. I go back to work. Go back to work. Vemsis Love saying, it's Friday, dude. Who's working? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Friday fibber. is chuck a sticky day. Fibber. Don't go to work. <laughs> Call in sick. You're busy watching Heads of Tech Live. <laughs> You're finding out all about the iPhone 11 13. You are here with us. This is you need to have one of these. Actually, one of these. Oh, okay. Let's see if it works with one of these. That's interesting. Kanofi, I remember you being like the, the cool dude who travels around the world, so maybe you do need to work. Okay. Like yeah, go, go work. Job. You do the cyber You're not security, missing out. if I remember correctly. You're not missing out. You're not missing out. Okay, cool. Okay, here we go, guys. We're doing the cinematic cinematic. effect with a bit of a light. A little light here. Can you see me? Yeah, it works now. Is it like super cool now? Because it must be like super amazing. Because I feel like there's like magical lighting right now. No, it's worse. It's worse? Yeah. But it's still, oh yeah, you know, it's completely gone. <laughs> okay, it works. At least it works. Okay, it's doing something. Something is happening. Well done. Thank you so much for testing that out, Ash. I guess that saved us from going. But what we could do, I suppose, is a follow-up video where we do a proper camera test. If we're bothered. Like, when if you keep it, we'll do up. it. When you, if you keep, up. You better keep it now. It's taking forever to transfer it. I know. Oh, my gosh. It's so annoying. <sighs> oh, that was... Uh, I'll, I'll show you this video. Share it, Ash. This is share with, like, a mini share. low light. Um, share I think, airdrop. I think the idea of this is that you need light to film on the iPhone for a cinematic look, isn't it? I think so. 
that's what the takeaway point is from this. So maybe what we'll do for you guys is show you what it's like during the daytime, perhaps with cinematic, because that might be nice. Oh my God, I got an idea. Mm. Why don't we take a break? And then once it's all finished out, we can just stream again and just cut to the chase. That sounds this is like a pre stream. We call this one the unboxing. That sounds the, good. The ch fireside chat unboxing. That sounds good. And then we can come back and do some RF measurements. And if we don't come back, we'll do a video. If, we'll you're, des a video. if you're desperate for it, we'll do it. Just leave a couple of comments and we'll do it. But we also need to finish our kitchen. That's true. So we, we do, don't have a kitchen. Yeah, we don't have a kitchen, so, we probably, so should do that. probably should get back to proper work. <laughs> probably should do that. I've probably got some serious work to do as well. I haven't done some work in a while. Same, same. But it's been fun hanging out. So you know, fun, I, guys. someone said it's some stuff. So that was hilarious. What was the best comment of the day? Um, Friday, dude, get to work. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. That's probably like sums up, you know, the story of our lives right now. Yeah, so why do you, do you, do you even care about the iPhone 13 anymore? Me? No, people. Well, them. Maybe. Like, we've got some viewers, they seem to be excited about it. Are they? Yeah. Why? I'm not even Why are you sure excited about it? Whether iPhone 13 shoots in HDR by default. It does. It had well, HDR was turned on for this test because I checked the settings. So that was what you saw was HDR. I'm going to show you the last cinematic mode. This is cinematic mode in low light, but with a little flashlight because in low light it just reverts back to normal light. So this was that little torch that we showed earlier, just hanging out there. And cinematic mode does work. There's a lot of blur around the nose. Oh my goodness, so much blur. Yeah, so it's a bit of a giggle. Basically, just, you know, if you want to make a stupid YouTube video, get an iPhone, test yeah. it out, have a giggle, mm -hmm. live your life, YOLO, yeah. go on TikTok, yeah. TikTok away. TikTok away. Yeah. So maybe, Ash, people are asking for the RF when we come back, so... Yeah, it wouldn't be fair to do it now because it's still transferring data. Yes, I think... We'll have to do the RF on the next, that. on a follow-up episode. Yeah, when this thing comes If down. you're bothered about it, because I guess, like, you kind of know Apple's situation with RF. They're very pro, so... Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's going to have some situation happening there. I don't think they've re reduced it. So probably if you're getting an iPhone or anything in Apple's ecosystem, you probably know what you're getting into. Mm. You're probably just going to love it. So. Mm. Oh, if you don't, like, just put on airplane mode like I do. I wonder if you can disable cinematic mode. mode. No, it does look pretty. It looks anything worse. else you want to test on this phone? Um, How do you feel about the pictures? Well, I don't think the pic I need to compare it to this guy. Like, I think once this guy has woken up, I'm gonna have to do a bit of a comparison. But the problem is, like, if you don't upgrade your phone now, I know I've lost my Apple Care. No, hear me out. Mm. If you don't upgrade your phone now, are you really gonna decide to upgrade in six months' time and be stuck with an iPhone 13 Pro, or are you gonna have to wait out another year waiting for the iPhone 14? Which is probably gonna be even worse than the 13. Well, you don't know what you're gonna get. It's hopefully gonna be better. I need to think about this. Because you never upgrade, upgrade for the 12 because that was a bit, a bit naff. And now you've got the 13, you've got it in your hands. Like, Do you oh. really think you're going to be keeping on that 30, especially with the battery going? Yeah, you're right. I probably I probably will keep this one. But the, it's big. But I just don't, I think this is a joke. The goggly eyes is like the first thing that got me. Is, that is the camera so good? Like, Do you like it? It's like the, it's, it's a phone it's camera. It's standard, isn't it? It's, it's a, not like, a it's good not like phone camera. Sony A7. Cinematic is a gimmick. It's not, I wouldn't. Like, I don't think I'm going to use it. Like, yeah. I might, I might do, but I don't think I will use it routinely. Maybe if I was a different kind it's of It's kind person. of like portrait mode, but in video, that's all it is. It's, it's fun. Hmm. I'm going to have to think about it. I'm looking forward to the S22. I want to see what that's going to do. When is that coming out? Uh, January. But that's I think, not too far away. I think I'm going to wait September. for that one. Because for me, I was considering getting an iPhone. I was going to get an iPhone Pro Max, but it was very expensive. So I realized that let's get the iPhone 13 Pro. And if you like it, then I'll consider it. Hmm. These are some deep thoughts. Sorry for the lack of energy. Right, guys, we need to think about <laughs> this. this. Okay, so I think that's what we need to do. I just, we need to set this guy up. I'll set it up and do the RF test. But like, RF I was test. actually pondering if I should go iPhone. But I don't know if the camera is... I don't think you're convinced about it now. Because the camera is rubbish on the, the Samsung. But it's not much different. But it's not that honest. much better. It's not like, like it's a huge day and night difference. All right, guys, should we just do an RF test with it? Um, this can. is it's on Wi-Fi, it's, wi it's on Bluetooth, wires. it's transferring data. We can do an RF test Why and see what see happens. How off the charts Let's just it see, is. yeah, because I and guess this this is on Wi-Fi and Bluetooth as well. Yeah, so, so it'll be a good comparison side by side. I guess you've got the yeah. Let's do that. Let's do that. Ben just love. We're gonna do it for you. We're gonna do an RF test for it, but it's gonna be high because we know that it's on uh, Wi-Fi. We know it's on Bluetooth. Well, hopefully it won't be that high. It won't well, be. 
Like it's just transferring data. Like. We do have a lot of information here. Like we've got the iPad, we've got your, we've got lots of phones. So I might just move that out of the oh, way. Oh, we should we've change. Got the microphones my, as well. my, my Mac is con connected over RJ45, so there's nothing happening here. We've got our microphones though too, so that yeah. could be a bias. Should we just change the microphones, or let's just see what happens. Let's just see how high it is. We can do. Look, oh, we'll they're both doing stuff. Away. I guess the what iPhone 11 Pro is sending data, and the iPhone 13 is receiving data. data. And we'll, we'll get a bit of distance between the devices. We'll move the iPad away for now. So right now, we're good. We're on like two and a half milliwatts per meter squared. So that's two milliwatts. If I get close here, we still, still nothing's happening over here. The phone screen is off. So it's just one milliwatt. Go here. Someone said the right side is the bad side. So it's still 600. This is microwatts, so that's nothing. And so unless this meter has gone, Yes, it's very, very low. The screen is on right now, and it's still very low. So it doesn't look like there's anything bad happening. This is the meter right close to the phone. So it's still in microwatts. The highest that it goes is about 1,000 or 2,000, so two milliwatts. So that's very, very low here. That's one meter. This phone here that's sending data, it's still low. It looks good here. So nothing much is happening, even though it's downloading lots of stuff on Wi-Fi. So I'm going to turn this one off and use my second meter, because sometimes mm, meters don't check. work. It's good to check both, yeah. And I'll try it out again, because there should be some sort of stuff happening Something's here. Happening. But let's see what happens. Mm. So I'll try um, changing the units to, there you go. That's my watch, so let's, this is one phone. So we're getting around, it says milliwatts here, two and a half, 10 milliwatts. So it gets different meter, different results. So I got up to 10 spike around the right side here. And I guess it doesn't matter which side you hold it because this one's 3D. And three milliwatts at most. On that side here, most three milliwatts. And it does go to up to 13 milliwatts around the bottom. And that's with it sending lots of data, so that's one. I'll try this one here, but this is the screen off. So you're getting between four and eight, 2.6, 2.5 milliwatts. Interesting how the, the meters are mm, slightly different, different, slightly off. This is 2.6, or maybe it was transferring different data at the same time, but I'm getting at most two and a half here with the screen off. That went up to 10, but it's mainly round two, four. And around the bottom here, we're getting at most, I uh, jumped to 13 for a second, but it's at most three milliwatts. Okay. I'll turn the screen on. And I'll get you to unlock it. There you go, unlock. So we're just, it should be downloading lots of stuff. And it's in microwatts right now. So two milliwatts is the most, going around in a circle. It's still two milliwatts. So that's, that's low. It's not like a hundred plus, like what we saw with the AirPods, surprisingly. I'm gonna go with my, my note. We'll see that it's, it's, okay, that's one. Well, it goes up to two and a half as well. So it could just be the amount in this room, the static of the room could be. is around two and a half because we're just bouncing lots of wow, signals around on Wi-Fi. So I haven't noticed like yeah. a, a particular Drastic. spike. Yeah. I am on Wi-Fi. I'm not on um, mobile data. I have to stay on Wi-Fi here in the meantime because we're doing um, Transfer transferring data. data, which is meant to be half an hour process, but it's taken two yeah. hours. Taken how many hours? Taken two hours. Uh, taken a long, long, long time. Taken a really long time. Taken a long time. Maybe two hours. Yeah. So so far on the preliminary test, I'm not seeing much happening here. Oh, it's gone to 70 now. 90. How did that happen? What happened? I don't know. I turned it on for a bit. Okay. Okay. Now we're cooking. It's gone up to 80. Okay, now it's dropped to three. What's this guy up to? What it's probably just re receiving data. Okay. It did jump up. To <laughs> so weird. I think it knows. <laughs> They've got it's an doing algorithm. Something, isn't it? It's doing something. Maybe, like we can't, we're not in control right now because we are transferring data. So we'll have to do it when it's like all when done. it's stable, when it's stable. when it's finished so sending as much data. For yeah, this granted. is just this is not true. It's it did shoot up to ninety for a second, but then it shot back down as soon as I. Yeah, because you don't know what's sending at the moment. You don't know what the single we've signal is. We've got iPad. We've got phones. We've got microphones. Sorry, it's um. Mm. I think we'll just have to wait, Ash. Like you said, yeah, we might it's do. Not, it's not a right test. It's not. It's not. It's not very scientifically accurate, basically. So we'll have to just kind of pause on that one. We do have a question, though. Yes. Which one do you prefer? Mm. 
So I know you for your old one. I know you. I know you. I, I know you. I know you. I, I know you. I, I know you. I oh man. What? Well, look, look. This is silly. You need a business expense. Okay, I just get it for business. <laughs> but honestly, this is silly. It's just, I can't. Like, I feel like. You know, you tend to have those stickers on your kids and you used to stick them on, like, boggly eyes. I might even just do that. Yeah, but you, don't, you, don't you put a case on anyway? Yeah, but it's still going to be Put flat. your phone on the case. It's still going to be thick. This is, this is nice and slim. You're such a, you love old tech. I do. See, look, this is, like, sleep. My case covers it. This it's, one, I feel like the, the eyes are going to stick out of the case. But don't you need more space? Because you're always running out of space. This is so fat. It's a phone Well, won't the case cover it? Well, the case is going to have to be really huge then, isn't it? It's going to be like a super thick case. Does this get covered? Yeah, because Oh, it's this a is nice flush, sleep. so the case has to be has so to be thick. thick to cover the... So you just can't get over the... I just can't... Like, it looks stupid. It looks stupid. Like, the plastic looks weird. It feels like it needs to be, like, picked up or something. Maybe I'll get used to it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. If I have to buy it, I'll just buy it. You don't have to buy it. It's just... Uh, but you don't want to switch to Samsung weird. views. I just can't get over how weird it looks. Like if I have to Maybe you'll fall in love with it. Inconclusive review sure. on our hands sure, today. Sure. Do you guys love it? What do you, what do you guys think? Are you over the whole new iPhone experience? I need to know how to think. <laughs> yeah, let us know. If, should she upgrade? <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> oh man, it's tough, okay. isn't it? Think because I don't it. think you can survive another year with your phone. What do you think? Because the battery is going to get worse and worse and worse and worse. The battery's pretty at the moment you can get a battery replacement just give them a hundred dollars or so and they'll replace your battery brand new battery Should I keep it is the camera quality so good i need to just check what the camera's like for my you need to do 11 and a 13 i'm gonna need to do it we're gonna have to do it guys this is to be continued this review is not over like what you what kind of scenarios does your 11 pro camera not work with it works in everything okay so. it's just whether or not it's better it's like ooh. it is slightly better but it's not like you know it's not gonna, like, better. compared to my crap phone, your phone is like a million times better than my phone. And when we compared this one and this one, it wasn't like, it was like 10 it's million times better. It's not huge. All right, Ventusloff has helped me. He said, I'm going for the Red 13 Pro, it has dull colors. So I'm going for the Red 13, the Pro has dull colors. Oh, so maybe, maybe it's just the Pro. But you need the 13 Pro because you got the extra cameras. Oh man, I don't know. We continue. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to continue this. Because you just played this for the camera, right? You got yeah. this for the camera. Literally. Yeah. So play Literally. with the camera yourself. Why don't you take some pictures of me? Enjoy yourself. Okay. Let's Come just on. see if it's any Let's good. Let's see how it goes. That's the only reason why you get it, right? It's not like you don't have a five G chip, so you yeah. Let me check the portrait mode out and see how that. Because I, I do. Oh, whoa! It's really zoomed in. The portrait mode is so zoomed zoom out? in. Don't they have zoomed out one? No, my goodness! The portrait mode is like more zoomed used, in than the old one. Used to zoom out before. Yeah, but this is like super, super, super zoom. Look at me. I'll tell you what, let's go outside and let's do a little, oh, we need to keep this phone close. Oh, this is so annoying. I can always take this phone with me. Are you sure? I don't know, we'll try it out. We'll try it? All right, let's Guys, do, should we do that? Guys, we're gonna go out, outside. outside. It's dark. It's very dark. It's gonna be fun. To, it's gonna be fun to see what kind of you quality guys need we to get. Us outside right now. Yeah, we're gonna go outside. If our microphones break up, we are still live with you guys. We're just streaming it. Oh, it's so dark. I might bring a torch so we can see. That's right. Okay, we'll, we'll go outside we'll now. We'll bring a torch. We'll bring a torch. And you yeah. guys can just uh, enjoy it. Let us know. Yeah. Okay, why don't you go outside? I'll All see right. if you're in frame. I'll go outside and I'll and bring I can a see torch. if I can still hear you. Perfect. So Nora is about to go outside. We're doing a low light outside test. Oh, let me give this to you. Okay. Keep that. And I'll take the phone with you. We're going to take Perfect. the iPhone 13 Pro. So I want Nora to upgrade her phone. I've been trying to push Android on her, but she really hates Android. So I've been trying to push this iPhone 13 Pro to her, but she really hates upgrading her phone. I was hoping that this camera is going to be like breakthrough to make her upgrade from her 11 Pro. It just feels like it's a gimmick and there's nothing special to it. Obviously, you need to do a side by side comparison with the 11 Pro. I've got a feeling that she doesn't want to upgrade, but I really want her to upgrade. So we're just going to go outside. Ideally, we want to be testing the 11 Pro with the 13 Pro, but it's taking forever to transfer data to the 13 Pro. It says, keep your iPhone nearby and connected pound till transfer is complete. And it says time remaining four minutes. So for some reason, it's been stuck on there forever. I don't know if it's a bug, but it won't let me transfer my data. So we're about to go outside. We're going to do a low light cam video test just to see how good the quality is on the 13 Pro. And hopefully it will be good. 
So I've got my host with the most. She should be going outside anytime soon. And then we'll switch over to our external camera and we'll show you what is happening. So I'm just gonna expand this a bit and make this a bit bigger. And, and are you outside yet? Well, we've lost our co-host. She doesn't want to come outside. I'll switch over to the external camera anyway, and we'll just try to record some. Okay, there you go. We can see her on the screen. So let's go to scene, and we are going to be away from keyboard for the meantime. If you have any questions, let us know. But this is what's happening over here. We're going to have a little play with the iPhone 13. All right, going outside right now. Hopefully, the microphone still works. If it doesn't, then it doesn't. So you turn on the light. Hey, look at you. Look at you go. I like that. Oh, it's dark outside here. Okay, I'm gonna... A cinematic won't work in the darkness, but it is, you know, okay, look, it is proper dark out here, but it's not actually that bad. Like, in my eyes here, that is black. That, that bridge situation, a gangway, it's complete, it's black, it's dark, but on the phone, I can actually see what's going on. So that's pretty nice. And almost tripped up and fell. So it does look a lot brighter on the phone than it did before. We're gonna be coming up here. Got a little walk over here. Oh yeah, it's a lot brighter. It is it's really bright. Doing some nice dance moves. Over here. It's very, very bright on the phone. It's a lot brighter on the phone. I don't know how it compares with your iPhone 11 Pro. It does look nice. Wow, it's a proper dance studio out here. Oh, don't fall in the water. Nice, I like it. It's actually pretty cool. My phone would have been awful with this. I should have actually brought my phone. <laughs> and what happens when you turn off the lights? Like, turn it off. Yeah, maybe that's helping too much. Darkness. I can't actually see her. She looks pitch black to me. I see a shimmer of gold there, but it's not, you're a lot brighter. Yeah, obviously, you need a bit of light. That's pretty good. Can we take a picture? It's a good photo as well. We did a nice long video there. Perfect. And I'll see what it looks like. Yeah. Like a head of black. Yeah. That's alright with a flash, you know? Worth it just to get to see a selfie. Okay. Maybe it's just worth it just and just yolo over the camera. Okay. <laughs> so I've got some sort of something happening. Oh, Obviously, uh, need to pair it with the iPhone, right? Perfect. Thank you. Just the lights. We'll go back inside, yeah? Awesome. I'll okay. see you in there. Good job. Thank that was you. pretty fun. So I am impressed with how much brighter it is compared to my eyes. So I am seeing more. Obviously, in nighttime, it is, it is, uh, the quality isn't going to be good. But we're going to be sharing the footage we just shot right now with you guys on the screen, so you guys can see exactly what we saw. I don't know how it compares to the 11 Pro. It should be better because it does have a larger sensor. So we're going to have to do that test later on in the show, maybe as a dedicated video, do a side by side comparison. That's if people even care about the 11 and the 13. Maybe they do, because maybe nowadays it's a two-year cycle upgrade. But it's going to be a good test just to see what it looked like, trying filming in the darkness on the iPhone. I was impressed that I could see more on the phone than I could with my eyes. That's one positive I can take. So I'm back here in the studio, and I'm going to start transferring over the files. My phone is hopefully still syncing. Yep, it's still syncing, because I took two phones together and I'll just transfer over those files and share with you very, very soon on what we just filmed. That's pretty cool. A low light test. We also had some light supporting lights and I'll just share it right now and we'll, we'll be seeing it very soon. That was fun, Ash. Yeah, it's fun. So cool. Yeah, it's fun. I loved it. I really can't wait to see what happens with the photos because um, it was dark out there. It was like pitch black dark. So excited. How do you guys think? What do you guys, did you guys see us over there okay. playing around in the water? It was pretty cool. What's going on in the, what is, what's happening? Oh my God. 
you know there are some Chinese kids making iPhone X look like the 12. Maybe you could get something like a 13 Pro to look like, to look case. Pro to X look case, yes. Send us love. I think I'm gonna have to get a different kind of case. You're right, absolutely right. Ash, I'm so excited because you were like super excited about the picture quality. You're like, oh my gosh, it looks really bright. This is too cool. I can't believe it's still transferring. <laughs> How is it still transferring? That's insane. I'm not sure. What is going on here? I don't know. I don't know. So why don't you recap? You All right, guys. So we have covered so much in the past three hours. Thank you so much for staying with us throughout this journey. This has been an epic unboxing of unboxings. We have unboxed the iPhone 13 Pro. We have checked out what the volatile organic compounds are being emitted from it. Well, not, not, we haven't done a proper test of that because we still need to do it properly. Yes, we will. No, I mean this one, this guy. Air yeah, quality. it needs Air to be quality. set up properly a bit better. We're going to set it up, but so far we've had a bit of fun with that. We've also checked out the RF meetings, but me, sorry, the RF readings, but we are going to be doing that a bit more as well because obviously when it is still transferring, you're probably not getting that much of an accuracy with it. So we're going to do a follow-up video with that one in due course. But more importantly, we've also checked out the camera quality of the iPhone 13. We've checked out the cinematic looks. We checked out the portrait mode. We checked out the self, the selfie mode as well. We checked out the camera quality in video and in static pictures as well. Yes, there is a bit of wobbliness when you do shake the camera still. It's like all motion, cameras. But it's kind of like the Samsung. So do you want guys want to well. see the, the photos we just took? I do. do I you really want to see do. it? I'm intrigued. Okay, yeah. so you want to see it. For sure. So this is the selfie that we saw in the darkness. Do you know, it just flashes your screen. So it's not that impressive. It's, it's, but you need to compare so it with 11 Pro yeah. to see if you're worth upgrading yeah. with. But is it good? It's good enough, but it's not like amazing. You know, it's not, not amazing. Got a lot of wrinkles over there. Yeah. That's one. Number two, this is the one where it uses the flash to capture you. And how does that feel? Well, it's really bright. I have to say, I'm actually quite impressed by that. It takes a good picture. You like it, yeah? It's not bad, yeah. It's not bad at all. Not bad for a camera but phone. That was with no additional lighting, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, I saw the lights turned off. That's actually not bad. You know, and I could, I, I could barely see you. So pitch back, that is actually very decent. Okay, and this is the video that we shot. Okay, go on, let's have a look at the video. So it's very, very bright, as you can see. Oh my see. goodness, it was actually pitch black outside, guys. It Obviously, the footage is blurry, mm -hmm. but it's very, very bright. It's complete, it's black, it's dark. But on the phone, I can actually see what's going on. That's pretty nice. And mm. almost tripped up and fell. <laughs> so it does look a lot brighter on the phone than it did before. It's so bright, isn't it? It's bright, but the pitch quality isn't all that. Yeah, it's awful. Yeah, it's a lot brighter. It is. It's really bright. Doing some nice dance moves over here. Just walking. It's very, very bright on the phone. It's a lot brighter on the phone. I don't know how it compares with your iPhone 11. That looks nice. Pro, isn't it? Yeah, that's gorgeous. It's nice when the lights. Oh, that's on. gorgeous when you have the lights. Yeah. Don't fall in the water. Talk nice. to myself. I like it. It's <laughs> actually pretty cool. Yeah, you're nice. You look gorgeous. Thank you. Know? you. My phone would have been awful with this. I should have actually brought my phone. I should have brought my phone. And what happens when you turn off the lights? Like, yeah, this. Mmm, that's really interesting. I'm intrigued to see what happens when you turn off the lights because there's a lot the of lighting now. before. It still looks alright, isn't it? It still looks. It's, it looks a lot brighter than reality. It's blurry, isn't yeah. it? So darkness. Not as good. I can't actually see her. She looks pitch black to me. I, I see a shimmer of gold there, but it's a, you're a lot brighter. You were a lot brighter. Yeah, obviously, mm. you need a bit of lighting. With additional more. lighting, it's much better. That's, yeah, that's pretty good. Up, yeah, okay, nice. that's interesting. So you can shoot it outdoors. I have to say the quality of outdoor nighttime shoots is, is very good when you've got some lighting. When you don't have lighting, additional lighting support, it doesn't look all that. That's not too bad, is it? That's mm. impressive. So, Max Sam Slavnenko, he's not impressed. He's not impressed. He wants to, he was saying that the, the video looks stuttering. Mm. The good guy says you looked hot. And uh, Knofi, he's back from his break. Yes, there you go, positive news. Oh, so, and, yes. and our, our phones are still transferring, right? Yeah. It's still transferring. <laughs> still Meanwhile, our phone is still We've done a sort of basic RF test. We can't, we do. Any other tests you want to do? A smash test, return test? No, we're not doing a smash test today. How are you feeling though? Because I'm trying to convince you to get it. Do you know, I, I Or do you need a baseline comparison? I, I'm, I'm desperate to see how my, ele like if my 11 was awful, of course, I'm be like, yeah, I'll jump onto the 13 straight up. But what about battery and all that stuff? Well, battery is an issue, isn't it? Yeah, I'm probably just going to have to keep it, aren't I? 
Not that that's a bad thing. Like, I'm not saying that, oh my God. Max is saying problem. that he's keeping his iPhone 11 Pro. Are you? Yeah. Mm, I might have to keep mine Because the problem is, yeah, if you do take this upgrade, yeah. that means you're less likely to get the next one. Do you think the next one's going to be better? Well, they might have ironed out the kinks. Mm. Oh, I don't know. Ash is too or are they going to just make it bigger? <laughs> You know what they should do? They should have just an attach on lens. That like a little, better. like you can a, just, you can a put fat lens. If you, want you attach to. it on. You take it off. For I didn't mm. see this in the event looking like this stupid. Did it have it like poking out this much? Are people aware? Are you guys aware you that You can't it's even that? talk about the event. We stayed up for the event, but we literally <laughs> fell asleep during it and just woke up and fell asleep again. Like, does anyone actually watch the Apple events like normal speed? I have to watch it in 2x speed. Because mm. over here, you need to stay up to watch it. And mm. the problem with Apple is they've become so internationalized that they can't speak normal English. They talk funny, don't they, they? They can't speak conversational English. They gotta speak international English, which means speaking really slowly, the iPhone 11 13 Pro has a numerous number of new features. The features include the breathtaking camera. As you can see, it has a camera bump with not one camera, not two. They can't say, hey guys, you know, it's got a new camera, check talk. it out, it's like this. It's like, according to our user surveys, we have completed a numerous speech. And they gotta have every single ethnicity of presenter and every single sort of stature of presenter in the history of the world, just to make the international community satisfied that they're being represented, 2021 kind of edition. Quite frankly, all I want them to do is just tell me how thick this is gonna be. I did not have any idea that this was gonna be so thick. At least Steve Jobs had a bit of swagger. He was like, shut up, man, it's a bit of swagger. You want this phone, this phone's the best. Bomb diggy, all the other manufacturers are dumb. We, 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 why do you want a stylus? You use your finger, boom. I'm the man, number one, 2021. That's Steve Jobs, RIP. But now they say, like, we have been conducting our experiments and harvesting all of your data to find out the precise number of camera bumps to include. The iPhone 11 13 is so much faster than our competition. They don't tell you how much faster. So much faster so much than much our competition. Faster. It's It's got the new A13 15 plus bionic insert the brain chip. Bionic, like what, what's that mean? Anyway, so <sighs> you said there's comments. What do you want to say? Let's, let's end, wrap this up. Okay. We've been streaming for too long. I want to yeah. take a break. I want to finish the okay. kitchen. You are the best because no other YouTubers do any testing like that in real life places. What kind of testing? Oh, just Nighttime videoing. Nighttime video stuff. Just videoing, yeah. Next one will be on Arm V9. That's exciting. Very That's probably cool. worth upgrading your phone to. That'd be good, wouldn't it? Yeah, there you the go. Good guy says, hopefully the iPhone 14 switches to USB C. Yes, that's a bit annoying. This whole lightning port situation. Yeah, that, but they'll take it back. It's they slow. Take it back. They'll make it worse. No, they might make it USB. Really? Well, everything else is USB C. Maybe. You know the iPad, all that stuff. Steve Jobs was incredible. Dry sense of humor, charisma. Yeah, he had a bit of charisma. It's not like internationalized English people. Yeah. Sometimes some presenters have swagger, but most of them don't. Yeah. We liked one guy once. We did. The Mac guy. I can't remember his name, but he was cool. Yeah, do you know the Mac Mini guy yeah. from last year? He was cool. Ventus Love says, hey Ash, a little off topic while waiting for the phones. I remember you wrote a few days ago about the COVID. Oh man, are you really going to get, detected. are you really going to get? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to ask that one later. Are you really going to get us in trouble? Mm, we, 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 want, we got a suggestion. We'll do it. We want to do an RF. I don't know why we get these requests, but I think he saw some videos saying some stuff happened. So the idea is, we're going to have one of these meters, because apparently he saw some people use these meters on site. Was it a cleansed person? And it had high readings. So we're just going to double te test this test. We're going to get a cleansed person and an uncleansed person. Obviously, I'm not using the V word, because you know what YouTube's about. We're going to have cleansed versus uncleansed, and we're going to see what kind of readings you get on you know, the arm and all that kind of stuff. But that's what you want, right? Pop hov and airport detectors. Oh, man. I don't know what, I need to read your email again. Send, yeah, feel free to send emails, whatever suggestions you want. And if we don't see, if this channel goes by the time we publish the video, it's been nice knowing you. <laughs> we'll be over here just, oh, we got another channel actually about That's renovations. True. True, like we do. doing, we're doing Heads our kitchen at the moment. Renovation. If you guys are interested to know what is occupying us. Heads of estate and renovation. Heads of estate and yeah. renovation. We've been occupied with some serious renovations in this house. It's like... We've got laser levels, shoots mm. out lasers, all that kind of stuff. We've done some crazy Digital. stuff. Digital. Yeah. What's that, what's that called? The straight edge. Spirit level. Spirit levels. Mm. We've become builders on the side. Basically we have. Like yeah. we now screw in 
things with the drill. Oh, we got the impact one. Yeah. Just make holes. In yeah. Things. I'll he's drill done, holes. Yeah. He's become a carpenter. There yeah, you go, carpenter. It's all Circular on the channel. Saw. If you guys want to, he's using like all the like grinding, all this sort of stuff. If you guys want to watch Ash? It's it's definitely. We a removed fun time. tiles from the floor. Yeah. Buffed it out. Yeah. That was very fun. One more comment. Yeah. Portless. That's actually scary. They might actually remove the port. The new iPhone 14 really? might not have a port. So they it might. Just, like it would just charge. You have to use. Yeah. You have to use the magnetic one. Do you know the the oh, one that you really? hate upstairs? I didn't like that one because it never works. And you have you to never get it, it on the right place. Yeah. Or there'll be a port, but you, if you use it, it will void your warranty. You don't read the terms and conditions. Oh my goodness. So. Well, there you have it, guys. So we have done quite a few things today. We have been checking out the iPhone 13 Pro. We checked out the camera quality. Checked out. Um, a little bit of the RF and that again. We checked out a little bit of the air if quality. If anyone around it. wants to be a good citizen, yeah. First, put on your mask. Number two, write a comment with the the time tags of where we did some tests. Yes. Because I think we're not going to do it. We might do. It. I might do. It. Okay. Well, these guys no, might no, do no. It. We One need to do stuff. Do We've, We've got, got stuff to do. do. Yeah. Okay, We've cool. already invested two hours of our time recording three videos. <laughs> Is it three hours? Seen three. We started at three thirty, right? No. Wow. Why? Yeah, Ten to seven. Why do we? We're gonna have to go to sleep soon. <laughs> but it's a started stream seventy six minutes ago. I'm not How's sure. Three YouTube, hours. YouTube's been funny. Three. Oh my god. It's that long. But we've oh, had you were a lot saying fun. something. We've had a lot of fun. So we did. We did quite a lot today. We might do a follow up video on the RF st stuff as well because I want to know. And we might do another follow up video on the pictures when the iPhone. If you want up. it, just like we've if probably given you a good enough test. But if you want it, leave some comments. And if you get enough comments, I'll probably do it. Otherwise, I've got stuff to do. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note... <laughs> oh, actually, we got one of our videos. It has over a million views. Whoa. There you go. I could do a video on how much money we earned from that video. Not much. <laughs> it's true. It's true. <laughs> this oh, is just goodness. a hobby. All right, Ash, come on then. Let's do it. So we'll do what? Let's wrap up the show. Okay, so what we had to It's wrap been up? so much I'm fun, sleeping, guys, man. for you guys. This guy's been falling asleep. I need him to wake up. You know, a lot of work we, we were preparing our kitchen for the benchtop templator to come and just measure all the cabinets. So we literally stayed up for like 40, Two days. 48 hours. Mm, straight. Putting the doors on, the hinges, all that stuff, making sure it's completely level, make sure it's perfect, building a filler plate to hang the end panel on. And I was trying to be millimeter precise because I didn't want Wonk City. I was trying to make it perfect. So the benchtop template guy yesterday came and he, looked, he said it looks good. Mm -hmm. He said it looks like it was done like better than the professionals. Better than the professionals, yeah. which is a, like a really big compliment for yeah. us. Obviously, he just wanted our money <laughs> and we're going to end up where we end up. But it was kind of like we were so tired at yeah, the end. Okay. So if you guys are doing renovations, let us know how that's going. All right. I've, I've been All thoroughly right. enjoyed being on your show today. Have Thanks you? so much. Yes. I've, I've been sleepy. Here. I've been a rubbish host today, guys. I've just been tired. Need some coffee. Oh, that'd be great. We should go out, go for a walk. Let's do it. Go outside, go for a walk. Take some pictures. Yeah, I hope you found like at least the video that we took interesting to see in real life. Because when you watch the marketing people, they just make it out like it's like the most amazing thing since sliced bread. And they have like professional models. Just like, you know what you should have done? Mm. You should have been videoing me. Because you're too good looking. What? Seriously? I'll take a video of you. You probably make the video look good. Well, if you take a video of me, you'll see my wrinkles. It'll be, oh, 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 oh. You'll be tuning off we'll saying, oh, I want one. the old iPhone with the worst camera. <laughs> <laughs> I need it to be a bit blurry. It's like, do you know when you went from like normal TV to HD TV? Yeah. When you started streaming and, and it was like everyone had spots, wrinkles. Spots. All of the actors and all the news presenters started getting Botox true, in your heads. True, <laughs> just true. to sort out all the you're wrinkles. Right, right, it was like, did. whoa, is that what you look like? Ah! when it was a bit blurry though everyone looked nice and attractive and like yeah. cinematic yeah. cinematography mode that's so true hi right, guys hope you found this amazing video useful and enjoyed the show getting ready to pick up my iphone the queues are super long over here i'm going to go in battle with my elbows out time to get the iphone 13. <laughs> one thing guys it's 6 50 p.m and we just come to the realization that we haven't eaten any food the whole day today. We haven't. Yeah, that's probably why I'm low energy. That's probably why. You know what? We that's might why. We might be back. No, no, I'm, I'm not being back. I'm done. I'm done with this. You need to decide if you want this iPhone 13 Pro or not. Because I'm wasting too much energy on this. And I don't think anyone in the internet actually cares about the 13 Pro. There's been too many iPhones. So they need Apple, you need a new killer device to make things exciting again. 
It's khalas, it's, it's over the curve. Over no one's really excited about it. They haven't done much. So you just need to decide if you want this iPhone 13 Pro or not. But basically, I haven't eaten the whole day today. I'm going to feed you right the now. Whole, the, Let's go eat some food. I feed myself. Okay. I'm a man, 2021. I'm going to go out there and I'm going to hunt some yourself. cabbage, hunt some carrots and eat it, chomp it down. You might need something a bit more substantial than that. <laughs> hey. Talio? Talio, you there, mate? I'm right next to the microwave and look at it 300 to 400 milliwatts per meter squared all right there you go right there 450 milliwatts meter squared oh.